Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Missed Opportunities and welcome to your weekend. Um, hope you are well and doing well on this July. I am your DM for the game, Peter. With us, as always, we have Elena playing Claire the Paladin. We have Kyle playing Sauri the Druid. Sean playing Gesualdo de la Rosa, etc., etc. Gotta say it all. Gotta say it all. I'll learn it eventually, but uh, <laughs> you know. There were other things I had to prep this time. <laughs> uh, playing the rogue, obviously. We have Jade playing Elimus the wizard. Unfortunately, uh, Anime Panda is not able to join us tonight. We will miss her very much, but uh, I think she'll be hanging out with some of you in the chat. So feel free to hang out with her there. Um, and we will have uh, Liz playing the cleric Maris joining us shortly. But we are going to go ahead and get started right now. We're going to descend into the mists. So let us go then, you and I. Last time, the party met the Vistani south of Valaki after very uh, carefully disarming the tensions in Lady Vachter's house. She requested that they basically kill the henchmen of the current Burgomaster and being satisfied that they would do it and elevate her station within the town, she let them go. The party went south and uh, following a clue about the next artifact, to help them defeat Strahd. Getting to the Velaki camp, they or the Vistani camp south of Velaki, they found that the leader's daughter was missing. He was distraught and drunk. And following clues with the help of a dusk elf mage and a scout who had been flogged to near death, they were able to track her back to a lake and find a man who was about to give her to the waters and drown her as an offering to try and catch more fish. The party valiantly rode their way out into the lake and were able to retrieve the uh, the little girl wrapped in a sackcloth, save her life, and uh, soon after, just Waldo slit the throat of the man who tried to give her to the lake. So, on their way back, they were ambushed by werewolves. They survived with great help from some big spells from Elimus and, and uh, uh, both some bravery from both Gisvaldo and Claire. But Sean, but but both Gisvaldo and Irina were bitten and felt the curse of lycanthropy begin to flow through their veins. And so that brings us to now as they make their way back to the camp south of Balaki with the little girl in tow. So, adventurers. Is, is the mage with us still? The elven mage. He had other things he needed to do in. Oh uh, yeah, I think you said he it, went. Uh, outside of Valaki, he had to part with you. He also um, would have mentioned to you that he is concerned about being too closely associated with you for the time being. Okay, uh, that makes sense. All right. Well, we should return uh, the young girl to her father. Hopefully that'll make him feel better. So we should probably make our way towards the central tent. Hopefully find him maybe not passed out. I think it's very unlikely. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Got it. Well, you hear um, as you are, so you're approaching the center tent again yeah. where they were. So again, there is... Um, a fire glowing within, a couple campfires within this very large pavilion style tent. Um, you see on your way up the hill haggard faces of uh, Vistani scouts. 
They look like they've been up for days, probably. Some of them have searching for Aravel, and you see a couple of them do a double take as you pass. Oh, she's back. Found her. And seem to kind of follow up with you. Um, and you hear someone call out, uh, Uvash! Uvash! She's back! And you see the tent flat swing open and a man stumble out. Oh! God! Arabelle! Arabelle! And he just runs forward and falls onto his knees in front of her and reaches his arms out and she just kind of trots up to him and wraps her little arms around his giant thick neck and he, it embra- and he and they embrace each other in a hug who who's done this who's brought my girl back um well we all work together um but we would not have been able to do it without the um very very crucial help of alexi alexi yes oh, he was very brave mm-hmm. yes you owe him your thanks instead of your backlash well, if I hadn't done what I did, maybe he wouldn't have gone and found her. You never. But <sighs> good job, Alexi. We'll we'll talk about your reward later. Yeah, what would the rest of you ask? Please, you. I owe you more um, than I can say, and it's not a comfortable position for me. <laughs> I uh, I understand that, and um, we, our, our uh, your daughter was telling us um, that you perhaps had some items in your possession that are touched by magic. Um, is this something that you might be able to offer as a reward? It would greatly help us in our endeavors. Just while kind of leans over to the she just came right out and asked for that. I, I would have been like a little more circumspect, but that you know, that takes some serious chutzpah. Amazing. <laughs> I it's admire. a word I just made up. Chutzpah. I like it. I'm going to use it more often. I think it fits very well with That's my That's not a word. My accent. Just well chutzpah. chutzpah. I'm glad she did just ask. What's that, Alimus? I say, I'm glad she did just ask. <laughs> it saves time. He kind of looks, he, her eyes, his eyes narrow, looking towards you, um, Claire. And then he looks, kind of looks at his daughter. He's like, what kind of tales have you been spinning at these folks, huh? <laughs> no, nothing too magic, but, uh, well, I, I do owe you, well, follow me. He gets up and sort of starts to plod his way over to one of the large wagons. This one is a large rectangular one. It is made with iron and made of iron and wood and has a um, a locked door on the back. Uh, it seems to be very secure. Um, pulling, he pulls a key from his pocket unlocks it and pulls it open and um, he gestures in and says take what you'd like except well and he well except and he goes and pulls out like what looks to be um, an onyx colored jewelry box and kind of this one's my brother's but the rest of this is mine. It's the wealth I've got, but it's not... It's not worth anything compared to my Arabelle. Um... So go where ahead. Did, where did he put the key? Back into his pocket. Um... Waldo has made careful note. Okay. As we approach, I'll ask Alimus, do you, can you 
sense magic on this and also what he's holding? I will need some time. Okay. I will start casting detect magic. Okay. Um, take a peek inside the box. Does anybody have any meat? I'm starving. So he's opened a, like a locked wagon. Oh, <laughs> um, I'll go inside the locked wagon. <laughs> okay. Yep. You can kind of climb up in there. Um, you see there's a wooden chest. There's an iron chest. There is a large uh, decorative chair. It has a golden inlay. It's like uh, basically a throne with um, golden inlay and uh, jewels set into it. There is a rolled up large rug. And there is a dusty old book as well. Okay. Um, and Books. What could possibly be useful in a book? Are the chests locked? Did you try to open them? Yep. Okay. Uh, they do not seem to be. They are okay. full of coins. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, may I examine the throne? I'm looking for uh, precious gems that can be removed. Okay. Yeah. In particular, diamonds. Um, you find a couple small emeralds, rubies. There are two sapphires near the very top. And yes, one large diamond is the centerpiece above, sort of on the headboard part, way above where the uh, top of the head would be. Yeah, Oswaldo will remove his thieves' tools and use them to pry free the diamond. Okay. Is there are any um, either like weaponry or items aside from the gold that seem interesting or valuable in some way? Go ahead and make an investigation check. Okay. Oh god, I need a limus for this. Um... Ha! <laughs> Seven! <laughs> I find nothing. <laughs> well, um, I'm waiting for yeah. him to come in and check for magic items anyway, so... Got it. Uh, Elimus, you are casting your spell. Just Waldo, give it enough time and your ability with Thieves' Tools. You will be, these are not, um, you will be able to pry these loose. There's Fantastic. Not so you said required. one diamond, what else? Uh, a diamond, you have uh, uh, four rubies, two sapphires. The diamond itself is worth, uh, is worth four, uh, probably 400 gold. Ah. And the rest of the gems total together at about, th you think, maybe around 350 gold pieces worth. The other gems were what again? Sapphires, rubies. Okay. So you've got this, Elena? Uh, yep. Thank you very much. I'm going to just write down rubies, <laughs> sapphires, and sort of. You hear, uh, as you're kind of looking through, you hear, it's like, My Arabelle is back! <laughs> Get the fire going higher! Someone bring out some meat! Bring out yes, the best yes, casks yes. of wine. We are feasting today and drinking and celebration. Oh, there's your dinner, Jeswaldo. Yes, I'm starving. I, I am curious, though. I see uh, this throne with these amazing beautiful diamonds and rubies and stuff. And, and obviously, coin is very useful. And um, I suppose to the right person, a rug would be very useful. But why is this book here? It doesn't even have pictures. Are you looking inside the book? I'm just remarking. He has no interest in the book. Oh, I'll take a look at it. What's in the book? The book is... Let's see. Uh, excuse me one moment. Find this. You notice a party starts to kind of get going. As, uh, music starts to play. You see a couple dance, a uh, few start to dance around the fire. Um, out of sheer relief, perhaps out of the since the terror of the angry uh, leader is subsiding, um, there is a great deal of mirth right now. Now, the book 
It's bound in a thick le leather cover, and it has steel hinges and fastenings. Um, and you open it. It seems it's unlocked. It looks like it could have been locked at one point, but um, you find a good deal of it is unreadable to you. Sifting through it, it seems to be in unrecognizable languages. Um, some barely, some sections barely even look like any kind of script at all. And then you reach something written in a very flowing hand written in common that looks like this. Hmm. All right. If wow. someone would like to read this. I can take a gander at it. Um, More than welcome. All right. I am the ancient. I am the land. My beginnings are lost in the darkness of the past. I was the warrior. I was good and just. I thundered across the land like the wrath of a just god. But the war years and the killing years wore down my soul as the wind wears stone into sand. All goodness slipped from my life. I found my youth and strength gone, and all I had left was death. My army settled into the Valley of Barovia and took power over the people in the name of a just God, but with none of the God's grace or justice. I called for my family, long unseated from their ancient thrones and brought them here to settle in the castle Ravenloft. They came with my younger brother of mine, Sergei. He was handsome and youthful. I hated him for both. From the families of the Valley, one spirit shone above all others, a rare beauty, who was called perfection, joy, and treasure. Her name was Tatiana. Tatiana. And I longed for her to be mine. I loved her with all my heart. I loved her for her youth. I loved her for her joy. But she spurned me. Old, Old one, one was my name Elder. for her. Elder and brother, brother. also. The Her very heart. wind around you seems to speak these words for a moment. And as you continue to read, a voice echoes in your mind. You remember moments by the fire. You remember the feeling of mist surrounding you. As you read this out loud, the voice changes from your dear friends to a different one entirely. It was the death of the aged that she saw in me. She loved her youth and enjoyed it, but I had squandered mine. The death she saw in me turned her from me, and so I came to hate death, my death. My hate is very strong. I would not be called death so soon. I made a pact with death, a pact of blood. On the day of the wedding, I killed Sergei, my brother. My pact was sealed with his blood. I found Tatiana weeping in the garden east of the chapel. She fled from me. She would not let me explain, and a greater anger swelled within me. She had to understand the pact I made for her. I pursued her, finally in despair. She flung herself from the walls of Ravenloft, and I watched everything I ever wanted fall from my grasp forever. It was a thousand feet through the mists. No trace of her was ever found. Not even I know her final fate. Arrows from the castle guards pierced me to my soul, but I did not die, nor did I live. I became undead forever. I have studied much since then. Vampyr is my new name. I still lust for life and youth, and I curse the living that took them from me. Even the sun is against me. 
It is the sun and its light I fear the most, but little else can harm me now. Even a stake through my heart does not kill me, though it holds me from movement. But the sword, that cursed sword that Sergei brought, I must dispose of that awful tool. I fear and hate it as much as the sun. I have often hunted for Tatiana. I have ever felt her within my grasp, but she escapes. She taunts me. She taunts me. What will it take to bend her to love me? I now reside far below Ravenloft. I live among the dead and sleep beneath the very stones of this hollow castle of despair. I shall seal shut the walls of the stairs that none may disturb me. Okay. This might have been the thing that we were supposed to find. Because I like that nice little list of weaknesses. I mean, it's small, but it at least gives us something to work off of. And we know where he is. What was it that there was supposed to be something about history, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The card I think was you're history. Absolutely right. This is definitely it. Um. I would like to take the book. You've got those gems. Um, I don't know. Do we want to take a little gold? Or what, what are we feeling? Oh, is the Lamas done with this spell yet? It does. It is, yes. It goes off. Um, you... you will actually detect no intense magic from within this wagon most of the goods here are mundane okay anything else around me then um about that box actually yes within the um within the box there is a faint... within the box <laughs> boxes of coins there's also a um a faint aura of necromancy coming from well it seems like just through the wood portion one of the the seats inside this wagon i will go up to it and, and open lift the seat if it if it lifts yep it will open and there there's an unlabeled crystal vial with a red liquid inside. Hmm. Handy. I think this is so a healing you... potion. All right. What did you find? I think it's a healing potion. All right. Oh, that is very handy. You should take that. I'll, un I'll unstop it and just have a sniff. It smells like mm. most uh, healing potions okay. that you've ever seen. So. I'll stop it. So it is unlabeled um, right. in this one. And we need to identify. In a fine crystal vial. So. I will. I haven't actually got any gold myself, so I will take a small hand, um, maybe 20 gold, 50 gold. I mean, how much is realistic? Well, seeing as how the. The price of just about everything we bought at the town yesterday was, I think, came to less than 20 gold. I'm going to... Uh, Alamis is not greedy. Alamis is just going to take 10 gold for himself. Deswaldo is greedy. He's going to take 150. And after that, I will put... If there's a pouch around, or I mean, I'm sure I've got spare pouches, I will put 50 gold pieces in that. And I go to plan to hand it to what's his face? Um, Alexi. Alexi. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I'll grab fifty for myself and fifty for Maris. All right, I'll grab fifty then. God. <laughs> there is um... <laughs> peer Total. pressure, greedy. Yeah. Bullied. So, you know, there is a, one of the iron chests. You think has a few hundred gold pieces in it. Another one. 
many hundreds. So, okay. If you're not taking it all, just let me know how much you're taking. Um, he hasn't said oh. go in there and take the lot, has he? No, and I don't want to wanna... take whatever we want. Yeah, but I feel like it's rude to take everything mm -hmm. of his. Just enough to make sure that we can survive Live. and <laughs> equip ourselves to do what's necessary. I agree. And whatever. I'm going to go find something to eat and then <clears throat> someone to sleep with. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we'll grab some money for Mari, too. <laughs> Don't worry, Panda, we got you. Um, so I'll, I'll take 150 that I will split between myself, Maris, and um, Mari, since they yeah. are not present right at the moment. Mari is a f bit of a funny sight now. She is with Arabelle near the, near the fires. Um, now that there's a little less attention on her and more attention just on the festival and uh, the celebrations in general. She is sitting around a couple of children around her and Arabelle around her and she's in her fine dress, but she is sitting cross-legged on the ground in her, you know, <laughs> in her beautiful dress, uh, nevertheless with a couple puppets. And Wonderful. since the Strahd puppet has been left behind, but uh, uh, she is entertaining some of the children. And uh... I'll head over to Alexis then. <clears throat> he is currently um, uh, sort of reclining Greek style on the ground with a cup of wine, um, some food laid out before him. And there is a, um, a young woman there speaking to him. And he seems to be in the midst of a story when you approach him. I don't disturb his story. I sit and listen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you will. N uh, he doesn't seem to look up to you. He is quite focused on the young woman in front of him, and he is telling a story about um, tracking her through the woods and the dangers of the um, werewolves that attacked, and how if he hadn't noticed um, that he, he remembered that snap, I knew that wasn't right that snap of a twig in the woods. I know these woods. I need to, I know these woods so well. And I know when danger's coming. I know. I'm a good protector. Trust me. So that's how I pointed them in the right direction. And, uh, you know, I was able to get them exactly where they needed to go. And, you know, I was, you know, I was able to bring them there and save her. I'm just, <laughs> she's just, wide-eyed looking at him and nodding and um, he Goodness finishes his story and looks up <clears throat> oh uh, 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 nice like, story chuck him up uh, oh you are there as well are you no i like i, I we went away to find ah, okay oh, uh, yeah else. i just went over to i'll uh, chuck him a pouch and you earned every penny he uh uh, grabs and says, oh, um, thank you. <laughs> kind of shakes it and he, his eyes widen when he hears, uh, kind of feels the weight and uh, how much is jingling inside and he kind of looks in it and you can tell that he wasn't, he also was not expecting this to be gold pieces mm. as his mm. eyes widen even further. Rich and a hero, you are going to have a very good night. I look to the lady and I say, He's a good one. Keep him honest. And then I'll, I'll walk away. Why did you do that, Linus? <laughs> After the beating he had, I feel it was nice to give him a heads up, maybe a head start back within this culture he lives in. Hmm. All right. Um... Well, we'll finish up in the wagon if I'm probably the last person there, so I'll close the door behind me and head back out to the crowd. Okay. Let's go sit by the fire, just well know. I can see Claire over there. Oh, Maurice. Oh, Marie. Yeah. God knows where the frog is. No, please. <laughs> I go and the sit frog. next to... Oh. I pull out this vial that I've got, and I will start... Um, I pull out a, a, a pearl... And um, he'll start whispering the words, idententium, idententium, and just keep whispering it over about 10 minutes, 
just to get what the actual potion is. Okay. What is everyone else doing while Elimus is doing some identifying and such? Um, um, once I'm Claire relaxing. goes back towards the fire and stuff, I'll uh, I leap off of her out of her hood. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> and turn into. I'll just do like a regular, uh, just a decent sized dog. Just a dog. I'll go. <laughs> hey, look who's back! Oh. Hey. Woo! Hooray! <laughs> Uh, as Elimus is doing the casting, Frog jumps out. Um, everyone is uh, celebrating. Claire, as you're walking away, mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily see it, but um, uh, Elimus, even in your casting, and Sarif. Oh, yeah, we have Liz. Well, <laughs> that's what you guys are choosing. <laughs> yeah. I was reading a different thing. Hey, welcome, Liz. Hey. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. <laughs> And Liz as well, you guys notice, uh, just a little catch up, you've returned to Arabelle um, and you have found a book with a long journal entry, it seemed to have been penned by Strahd himself, which hints at some of his origins, some of his weaknesses. Um, and there's now a celebration happening around um, the, uh, the camp. So, as you are leaving the wagon, Claire, to rejoin your other friends, um, a few of you notice, as I said, Elimus, Saurev, and uh, Maris notice a couple um, of the women call out and say, Aragal, aren't you going to join us? What are you doing over there? And you see a... <sighs> and kind of stepping around the shadows near the wagon seeming to have not successfully hid from everything is Aragal, indeed. That's a brother, isn't it? Yeah, he's yes. the sneaky one. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know, if he is busy, I am available. <laughs> um, and they look at, they look to you and they say, Oh, yeah? I'm rich, oh. too. And I pull out a gold coin and I start doing the fountain thing on my fingers and quite skilled <laughs> oh my god there's some eyebrow raises coming oh no. what a man um is argal like right near me um yeah he was uh, sort of around behind the wagon okay. trying to sort of sneak up and watch you but he is failed at okay. being stealthy I um to those of you uh to some of you well, um, you will notice pointed out yeah sorry got it but just Waldo you will see the um um uh one of them will uh, well aren't you gonna ask me to dance then <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course go get it <laughs> okay um there seems to be a coordinated dance happening you see uh pairs swinging around it's a very lively very quick paced dance around this fire um changing partners at occasional moments but they always seem to um reconvene with the beginning partners towards the end of the steps would you like to attempt to join in well here we go yes here okay go. i can't wait to see this one here we go <laughs> um i'm assuming this is performance or is it, would it be. Uh, or, or would it be acrobatics it could be an acrob. So if you just want to match the steps, very difficult, but you could do it. You can either do a performance check or I will let you do an acrobatics check at disadvantage because All it right. is simply what uh, if I want mimicking to, steps. Okay, so will you, depending on how well I do, you will say how. Right. Or you I'm could take do... a quick moment to watch and try to uh, see if a nope. visual check will nope. improve. Nope, just nope. going right in. I love it. Yep. <laughs> Um, so this will be acrobatics at disadvantage. Correct. Uh, let's see. Sometimes this is... So that is a 19. And... Okay. A 26. So 19. All right. That is plenty. And you join in the dance. You are swept 
up in it like a leaf in the wind. Watch. That's a oh, trick. Wow. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not nice. Uh, You're gonna give me feels. And, uh, and yes, you feel uh, in front of you. You feel it. See, it's a the dance is an interesting push and pull. You feel yourself leading at some points, and you feel her forcefully pulling you along, uh, swinging in certain directions as well. It is a delightful give and take, and you occasionally are um, pushed up against her and then back into where you can just feel the fire at the edge of your ear. You're dancing very close to it at times. It is sort of intoxicating. I'm going to be killing her later, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, well. But um, when your back is to the fire too, you see it reflecting in her eyes. Light blue with black hair. Let me tell you some stories about me. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And I do. Okay. All right. Um, she is enjoying her time quite a bit with you after that dance. So, well, just Waldo is swept up in the dancing. Some of you saw that Aragal had been following you and I believe mm -hmm. Claire, you spoke yeah. out as well. Um, <clears throat> his presence being um, noted by the others, um, I would like to approach him and okay. um, I'm sure the return of your niece must bring you great joy. I'm just tickled, yes. And hopefully your brother's folk behavior will improve as well. Don't count on it. Now, you didn't take everything of my brother's, did you? And you didn't take my things, I should hope. Um, he indicated that there was a uh, box of Onyx, I believe it was. Like he pulled it aside, said it was yours, and we did not touch it. And we did not strip your brother of all his wealth. Just took enough to make sure that we can properly protect ourselves, um, arm and equip ourselves for any dangers that lie ahead. <laughs> so what? You only took gold? Uh, took some gold so that we can buy some supplies. Um, there was, um, I think Jiswaldo has a uh, fancy for shiny things. He might have had a bit of a gander at that throne. He kind of stops listening to you and goes and peeks, peers into the wagon itself. Mm -hmm. And he's left it open too. And kind of looks in. Holding the door, he turns back to you and says, Are you sure there was nothing else you took? Nothing else of particular value. He can probably see that I am in the camp. Ha I have that vial in my hand and I am casting a spell on it. Okay, yeah. And he looks out of the vial and he says, <sighs> By the way, uh, that would be a deception check for uh, Claire, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, if Elimus is being it. that she obvious didn't. with the vial, I oh, would yeah, have not, that as well. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't have shown that he's still that, I, I would have included that as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But still a deception. Uh, 15. Okay. His eyes narrow. And he looks back into the wagon and slams it shut. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Tread carefully. I always do. <laughs> and he looks up towards Elimus for a bit, you see, and he <sighs> just kind of shrugs, kind of backs his way into the shadows again. Um, uh, when he said the little, you know, watch yourselves, um, I like as in that last little bit, I'd like to <clears throat> try to incite him to see whether he has any ill intent towards us. Sure. Uh, 16. 
there is contempt that you see and you get the sense that um the way he looks at you he knows something that he shouldn't based on your information about him and he that's all that's all i will say the details of which are hard to say but you get an uneasy sense that he knows more about you than he initially let on okay you hear a, a low growl next to you as there's a dog there with a large chunk of meat with a big bone sticking out just looking at where he left <laughs> oh i'll give your your head a little scratch and say come on sorry let's head back to the fire <laughs> Wag, 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 wag. Meanwhile, with the music's going with just Waldo. I've been really <laughs> well, it's interesting. I think at some point, depending on how the night goes, I might actually try to find my way to this Aragal and sneak up on him and oh. stick a dagger in his side, if I may. Oh, no. <laughs> But this will be later, after the party has died out a bit. I will go a hunting for him. Oh, goodness gracious. You're going to get us all killed. <laughs> Are you still with your friend? Just uh, Of course, yes. Okay. Uh, Obviously, you didn't say this around next no, to her no, or. No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it. Is there a point at some point in the night, Jiswaldo, where you return to the group or are you kind of all. I doubt it. Dance. Okay. Um, I, I will say in low tones to the rest of the group who's present um, that I sense something off about Argol. Um, he seemed to know more than he's letting on. And there's he has not necessarily threatening intentions towards us, but there's something, some kind of negative energy there. Um, I can imagine he probably wanted done. the girl gone. Yeah, he might have been looking to take his brother's position, but it could be more than that. I don't know. There's so much going on here that I don't understand. Not huh. camp here, but here, here. Well, hopefully we don't have to be here beyond tomorrow. Do I find out what this potion is, by the way? Yes, so your goes off. It is um, everything about it. Appearance... The uh, smell, even if you took a little taste, um, it's a potion of healing. But as you identify it, it is, in fact, a potion of poison. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Okay. Um, um. Of what type? I am a herbalist. <clears throat> uh, so your identify spell will um, give you all of the information. It causes, it requires a saving throw against it, and you will be poisoned um, each turn. So if you were to take it, you would immediately take 3d6 poison damage and make a save against poison. Until you make that save, you will take a 3d6 poison every round until you make the wow. save. Whoa. Wow. All right. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's not even right. Um, if you make the save, it decreases by one d six until you make three. You saves? make you, until you make three in a row. So. Wow! Wow! It's a murder. <laughs> it's a murder shake. <laughs> yeah, it's a nasty you, one. Oh, Chuck, you just looked like a kid in a candy shop there for a hot yeah. second. <laughs> oh, what do you say this is, guys? Hmm. What does it look like to you? Looks like a human potion. Hmm. It's a potion of death, if anything. The ultimate healer. You found it, like, tucked away, didn't you? Hmm. I wonder if Luvash knew that it was there. I have no idea. Have you spoke to him? I didn't know that you spoke to him, so... No. Uh, no, no, uh, not... Uh, Luvash oh, is the father. Yeah. Argol's the sneaky guy. Um, where is Luvash, by the way? Um, he has a, a seat pulled up next to the fire. He has food in front of him, a plenty. He has um, 
a couple of what looked to be scouts, guards and such, just bringing him cup after cup of wine. And he is having a grand old time singing along with some of the songs that are going, that are being sung, um, watching the dancing. You see him uh, stand and he doesn't join in the swinging, um, sort of spinning dance around the fire, but he will occasionally join in and sort of um, uh, his own dance standing in place seems to be a um, some sort of motions that a few others are going through that is a um, ancient maybe sort of battle-born dance type of thing that they do mm -hmm. so can we see the uh, brother the, the brother was trying to stealth can we still see him let's see you notice he did slink off oh what is your passive alimus 17 you do not Um, uh, though you can make a perception say, yeah, check I'm, to try I'm and find actively him, looking, so. not that yeah, it would he, get he got out of your view while you were talking. Yeah, but, fifteen. Um, no, you're not able to. Okay. I'll, uh, I'm gonna sort of like you know, I'm gonna wait, I'll put the potion away. I'm gonna wait ten, fifteen minutes, you know, enjoy ourselves, eat food, drink, and then I'm gonna get up, go to the toilet, come back, and I'm gonna go up to the um the father okay and i'm gonna say it's a it's a great a great evening i <sighs> be very happy well it's an evening worth celebrating yes i did uh i lo ho lower my tone i did find a magical item in your wagon mm -hmm. a potion Um, what? I found a potion. <laughs> okay. Um, well, like what, what kind of potion? I'll show him it, but like, I don't get it out and go, this one. I sort of like lift, you know, mm. my robes beside the end and show him it. So you recognize this? A healing potion. Yeah, we... <clears throat> Ugh. Casimir makes those sometimes. <clears throat> Kaz do, do we know Casimir? Yeah, that's He's the mage. He's the uh, Dusk Elf mm -hmm. guy. <clears throat> oh, did he make it for you, this one? Mm -hmm. I didn't think we had any left. <clears throat> uh, probably if it's here. Okay. I just wanted to know. Uh, it's not. It's probably my brother's, though. I mm, Probably. More than likely. Um, you should probably give it back to him, though. I didn't, not. I shouldn't give away any hmm. of his things. Where would he be? I can't see him. Oh, who knows? Uh, just leave it with me. Um, oh, no, no. I'll make Honestly, sure he gets I'll, it. I'll make sure he gets <laughs> it. You have. You enjoy the rest of the evening, my friend. <laughs> I'm so sure. pleased to see that your daughter and you are happy. Hey, right, make sure you have some of the wine. I will. It's Thank good you. stuff. I'll head away. Have we seen the uh, mage since? <clears throat> uh, you have not. There is a soft glow from the chimney where his house was. A little wisp of smoke. I'll head over. I'll make, okay. sure, I'll make sure the group can see me heading over. Sure. You guys see Elimus wandering from the celebration over to the... I don't walk straight in. I sort of listen at the door. Okay. Make a perception check. 14. Yeah. Sounds mostly quiet inside. Crackle of a fire. Type oh, of rustling, or not. crumpling, maybe like a paper or something. Is it a tent or a house? It's a house, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is a house. <clears throat> it's built into the side of the, um, into the side of the hill. Yeah, I'll knock on. It's kind of like the one that's right in front on the picture. Oh, that yeah, we're on picture, here. yeah, yeah. I'll knock on the door then. Yeah. Hmm. Come. Oh, walk in. 
You know, enjoying you the reveries, out. my friend. I'd rather have them all happy than otherwise. Otherwise, yeah. What can I do for you, mage? I've come from my reward, remember? You said you'd teach me some things. Hmm. Can you teach me how to make healing potions? It is mm, a long process. How Tell about me. this one? And I'll pull the one out with the vial. How long does it take to make these ones? And then he will just... He will hold out his hand. I won't give it to him. I'll just show him it. It's my reward from... Well, I can't remember his name. Luvash? Luvash. The healing potion. Uh. I better make sure I drink it in the last dying hopes if I ever get in trouble. The you whole can, process. You can probably see I'm being extremely it. sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to convey that? In your... mm -hmm. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Do I believe him? Go ahead and make an insight check. Seven. Totally. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Speak plainly, mage. I think we've been honest enough with each other. We have, yes. This looks like a healing potion, does it not? I gather by your question that you've discovered it is otherwise. Very much. A potion of extreme potent poison. Indeed. May I see it? I'll hand it over to him. Okay. Uh, he will look at it again. Hmm. Wish I could do this more quickly. And he will um, he will kind of flip through his uh, a book that he pulls out of his robe and begin to um, look like he's about to ritually cast the same spell and mm -hmm. <clears throat> and stop. He will look up to you and say, "I gather you've already done this. I've done this, yeah." I'll tell him exactly what. Well, mind okay. you, my herb law is different to the herb law here, so I probably know what herb would my area would do this if it was a herb. Or right, you will say. Hmm. I'll describe I... the uh, if it is a flower or a weed or whatever a herb. Right, I'll describe the look of it. Okay. He will think for a moment and he will respond. This is skillful herbalism that made this. Though I am not trained in the arts of poison making. These plants you speak of, well, I'm sure they exist. It is not my this is not my area of study, although I care for it to be. I'm seeking a way to bring life to something long dead, not I agree. To cause something to die. Have you been asked to make any healing potions lately? Well, I make them and sell them to the Vistani frequently. Be very it takes careful. about a day to make one. Maybe someone's trying to set you up. This was found in Ulash's stash. Well, it's better that it's in your hands now, what you intend to do with it. Hmm, I'll keep hold of it for now. Maybe it's just a coincidence that it was in his stash. <clears throat> Maybe. Just keep your eyes and wits around you. Anyway, enough. Talk of deception from other people. Shall we say? Shall we share knowledges? I'll pull my spellbook out. What is it you wish to learn? And he will pull his out as well. Um, I need remove curse. 
That is... Let's see. It is not a spell that he knows. He will pretty... Mo he will fairly freely show... Um, there are some spells which are really sort of beyond your understanding written in there. High level magic. Oh, really? So he's a lot yes. higher than me then. Yep. Um, you will see um, a spell of non detection. You will see fireball, which you know, counter spell. You'll see a spell of fly, misty step, um, some others as well that you would naturally know, like mage armor and shield, magic missile and such. So. Counter spell. I've got counter spell already. <laughs> oh! Um, fly might. You be already nice. saw him cast locate object, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, has he got all the self? He does not. No. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sh sh share mine if he needs any of mine, and I will inscribe fly then. Okay, he will ask that you split the cost for the ink, but as what is the cost? Um, I've never done uh, this with It is fifty gold pieces per level of spell oh, okay. and i think and an hour of time okay yep half for enchantment spells for you yeah, yeah. that's not enchantment and i've only got 50 gold so i probably wouldn't be able to do that then you should um, have taken more i should have <laughs> but he's not greedy okay um well i'll talk to you afterwards i won't take the time up we can I can. I'll spend some time learning a spell, and I'll get the spell list off you. Sure, that's at fine. At the end, yeah, yep. just to not yep. to clog this up. He will pour you a bit of um, a very sensible glass of wine um, as you guys go over these, and he um, mm -hmm. helps you in this process as well. He will also remind you that he had confided in you a personal mission that he had that he wanted help with in order to, you know. In, in exchange for helping you um, that eventually he wanted to go to a place high yep. in the mountains and find, find the sister. power to resurrect his sister mm -hmm. I mean we'll uphold that when we can learn resurrection <clears throat> what we... level are we? <laughs> yeah, that's it well, and he will, he, but he will say that um, he, he said I, I'm not seeking my sister I know that the power to bring her back lies in that temple. Perhaps power beyond the simple spell. We have definite plans to go there. But by what we've found, we need a lot more than going there. A sword. Something about a sword. They... What's his brother's name? I can't remember. Aragorn? Oh, no, uh, Sergei. Sergei. Do you know Sergei? Uh, no. Wait. The brother. The murder brother. I don't know if yes. this is common knowledge. Yes. Not common. Much knowledge has been lost in my lifetime, but... Yes. Where can we find this sword, you know? I'm not aware of any such thing. Have you any clues, any leads, anything? All we know is he disposed of it. Hmm. I bet it's in the cards. I'm not there. <laughs> okay, I'm not there either, but we can talk about it. But it's in the what? there. You're. You're smart enough to know, Alimus, that There's there a was card a reading. in your card reading that was one of uh, the cards, a yeah, sort yeah. of sunlight. Yeah, yeah. but we, do we really don't know where to is... find it, though, do we? I think it said locked behind. Locked where... beyond amber doors. Oh, that that's the one that's I beyond the asked... amber doors. Okay, that's what yeah. I had asked. Um, <clears throat> okay, Rictavio about. So I'll say, okay. yeah, well, do you know anything about some amber doors? Yes. That's where the sword is. Then it seems our paths align. I will teach you all you need to know for free. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
will take you there when you are ready. The morning. That's fine. Bring warm clothing. Okay, we'll have to go into town maybe to buy some. I recommend you do. And rest well Sleep in the well. meantime. I'll head out to the group. Okay. <clears throat> as soon as you leave, there's a dog outside the door wagging his tail with a big stick in his mouth. I cast <laughs> disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch this, you bastard. <laughs> um, just while though at some moment during the um, festivities, you will uh, notice another uh, uh, woman approach you, offering you a glass of wine and Having lost track of the one you were dancing with, you kind of think, eh, whatever. And as you reach out to take it, you see it suddenly be batted and flown up into the air as um, your dance partner from earlier swats away the glass, hands you one of her own, and shoots a look of daggers to the woman who offered you the previous one and who simply raises her hand and backs away. Ooh. It's an interesting custom. And she will, uh, she will turn to you and say, I have claimed you for tonight. Okay. Uh, the whole night? <laughs> you think a lot of yourself, don't you? Well. I have, uh, yes, well, yes, you do. <laughs> is it that obvious? I mean, is that... <laughs> well, drink, uh, you're stammering. Uh, yes, I she am. Hands you a <laughs> she hands you a glass. I don't know what's come over me. Something about your beauty. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> well, Very good. You're stunning. You're... I'm speechless. Uh, she will drag you off down the hill just a bit to a place in the shadows. And murder me. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> with another bottle of wine, some cups and such, uh, to a place where it looks like she's laid a little bedroll. Oh. Well, good night, everyone. <laughs> We would tastefully fade to black. Yep. Anyone else? Uh, so that I don't have to. No, not, we're not role playing that any further. Thank you. Um, uh, I'll head over to the group. Doing again. Anything? A head dog head. shows up. So, no. no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> now it's a party. And starts humping your leg. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, uh, takes me back. No. Uh, what is, what's up? Yeah. It reminds me of Waterdeep. <laughs> Maris is disappointed because she had fine. She'd been like sitting by the fire, kind of just like enjoying watching everybody else have fun, and then she was like, you know, sipping wine. But then she's like, "I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask Jeswaldo to teach me to dance." And then she sees him get taken away, and she's so oh, disappointed oh, that she goes and she just grabs a shot of something, and then just goes to sulk in the corner. <laughs> She'll be okay. She'll be fine. <laughs> uh, go going off of this uh, comment that just came through from Anime Panda, I'm going to dance with Mari. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Silly dance. around the fire. Alimus uh. is just walking over and says, I have some input. Okay, it's fine. It can wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now um, Maris is also going to go join the ladies' dance party. You can always okay. talk with the dog, Alimus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting there with his stick. So the bard, the paladin, the cleric dancing together around the fire. Just Waldo has been is slinked off with one of the Fistani. Elimus is back up and Sariv is a dog. <laughs> Classic. Once the D D, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once like most people are gone and the party's dying down. He will turn into a lizard again, and okay. whoever's left, he'll play his bone flute for. Okay. It's, so it's, it's, it's all very <clears throat> uh, sort of like Native American flute, very like awesome. That's my favorite. I love yeah, that sound. But like sad. It's all sad. Yeah, like Last of the Mohicans type of <laughs> yeah, uh, windpipe. Like uh, what would I call? <laughs> I mean, what are called pan pipes yeah mm. yeah i think we all yeah we get the sound um you will um 
there's one with a little stringed instrument kind of sounds like the ambient music that will begin to play as this party winds down there are a few a few very deep in their cups um just sitting staring into the fire you hear um uh, then a few join in and we'll play music with you an odd sort of communion between you and these very different uh, humans but um you know you are able to <clears throat> sort of communicate with each other through these melodies Alimus will try to impatiently try to get claire's attention okay. um uh, at some point i'll probably <laughs> notice that <laughs> Well, he know. is impatient. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll uh, I'll leave strings to uh, continue partying and head over towards Elimus. What's going on? I have a lead on some amber doors. Really? That's exciting. We leave tomorrow, but we need. I, I say this in hushed tones, but I. Sure. I say uh, we need cold weather clothes. Okay. The festival is tomorrow. Um, uh, trying to remember what time that's at. Um, doesn't say on the sign that we saw. Um, might be worth us slightly delaying just to see what's up with that. Do we care much for this festival? It's not that I'm looking to celebrate and more of a... I'm curious to see... Like, what the big deal is, right? What... What's going on with the Burgomaster? Because mm. he's clearly got a screw loose or two with the extent of these festivals and how seriously everyone's taking them. I'm really not feeling good about the whole, like all is well situation um so it might be worth us just taking a peek it might also give us more information as far as um Wachter's, um goals we have other pressing concerns as well i look to where the la oh, lady uh, what's her name is i really should start writing names down <laughs> it's the you know, most it's, intelligent um... man alive and he doesn't remember people's <laughs> names Irina has been Irina. joining in your dance as well. She seems yeah. to be um, mm -hmm. enjoying her, her time out on the road. Yeah. yeah. Her and also just Waldo. Yeah. <laughs> they were well, remember, um, Rictavia is coming back a uh, day after tomorrow. Do we have that long in these lands? I mean, oh. if... <laughs> Too late. I'm not sure that we... Uh, I mean, it's not like we can learn these abilities in many places here. Um, he might be the only chance we have to gain that. Hmm. We definitely need to make sure that we are here for his return. I agree. Just Waldo's life and the lady's life depend on it. That's true. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just Waldo gets that little tickly feeling like someone's talking about me. It must um, be all those. It must be all those women. I thought it was a yeah. spell of the divine, but it's not. It's arcane. Maybe may may well be divine as well. That's unfortunately a little beyond me. My uh, what about my Maurice? spellcasting abilities are basic. She might know. Um, can check in with her after things are died down a little bit. I don't know. Kind of want to let her have fun. <laughs> She's having. <Yeah. laughs> She's having a great time. Having a good time. Do you yeah. know remove curse? Uh, do I? Well, I mean, yeah, it's yes. a good way to kill kill a party. But yeah, oh, you do know it. I believe I do. <laughs> six I level cleric, cleric, you can. Six level cleric should have it. Yeah, and you well, can then... prepare it in the morning. So. Sounds great. She's busy drinking heavily, yeah. so. Well, maybe we don't even need Rictavio, well, but good. Um, I, I am Six curious to see third. what's going to happen with this festival tomorrow. Um, but we should definitely head into town and buy those winter clothes to prepare for whatever venturing out we need to do. Well, if this sword is behind these ember doors, then yes. Yeah. 
I'd love to get my hands on that. <laughs> well, we have a plan. We'll make sure we inform everyone in the morning. And uh, probably should get some rest. If yeah. we could both use it. <laughs> yeah. We wait, and then when it dies down, go to sleep. Yeah. Or, if it doesn't die down at a reasonable hour, I'm going to drag friends off to bed and make sure that no one's going to feel like shite in the morning. <laughs> Got it. Um, as you guys are having the conversation, Irina will um, kind of lean over closer to Maris mm -hmm. and actually kind of lean over and sort of rest her shoulder on yours a bit. And you guys think she's kind of sipping on some wine and she will say to you, I... I hope this isn't too forward, but do do you really think I'll be safe in Falaki? <laughs> um, I believe we'll do our best to keep you safe in Falaki. <laughs> well, but so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I drunk it, are you? <laughs> yeah, totally. You're fine. <laughs> I. I know that, but you'll be leaving, correct? And I'm to stay there. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> pat, pat, <laughs> pat, pat. So helpful. <laughs> Do we all hear no. this, or is it just Murray? No, she's just kind of. We're, we're probably still off doing, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you two are still talking. Oh, okay. Um, Maris? I'm not so sure. Well, I fully believe that Saloon will protect you because you'll go with our blessing, mine and Claire's. And I think Maris really just does have like the, the utmost amount of hope. And since she is very mm -hmm. drunk, that's what she's holding on to. <laughs> the night, you, th you think the night mother would protect me even against him? Yes. 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 <laughs> She's not a negative nan, guys. <laughs> she could always keep coming with us. I. It's true. She could keep coming with us. Appreciate your words. Um, you should maybe get to bed, right? <laughs> I agree. Yes. <laughs> Claire's gonna come play mom. <laughs> Yay! Off to Mom. bed. Thank you. <laughs> all right, and they will. Um, you guys will all head off to bed. Yep. I don't know why, but I'm just thinking of like follower and henchman rules from older editions. Like she's taking some of our XP and it's like half our level and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's like way better than most people around here now at fighting. Probably. But she's gotten a little bit better. Um, you guys haven't done it for a while, but you're she's always been eager to learn anything you would like to teach her. You've noticed that she starting at first, she wasn't really sure. She has a very nice breastplate, but it sometimes is a little uh ill fitted. You know, the straps not quite um tied in the right place. She uh is clearly as skilled with her sword, but um not a you know, wasn't raised a full time fighter. So, anyway, the evening will go on, and unless anyone wakes up to do anything in the middle of the night, um, morning will come. I'm looking at you, Jess Waldo. I was <laughs> serious when I said that. However, I realize that time is going on, so we can leave that for now, if you wish. It's, am... If you want to, let me know. It's fine. It's, it's, your, it's your character. Good night, sleep. Grudge. He's having a good time. I think he would probably continue to have a good time. Okay. <laughs> and you will sleep. When you do, you dream of running. Running, running, running through the woods. Branches breaking past your face. And excitement. The chase. Yes the padding of feet in front of you. Oh, it is so exciting. Yes, chase, chase, run, chase. Branches snapping, and there it is. You sink your teeth into it. Uh-oh. Uh. And it cries out in pain, 
and the blood washes over your face and it is wonderful. You have it. It is now yours. As you sink your teeth into its neck, it is now truly yours. And you eat. And then you find water. You drink. And you jump in the cold water. It is cold. You swim. You paddle. The moon shines down upon you. And for a while, the water becomes just a bit too cold, just a bit chilling. You feel a shiver as you pad to shore and shake the water off of all of your hair, and you shake, and suddenly you wake up just Waldo, and you are laying there on the pad, on the sort of sleeping pad you were before. No sign of the woman you were, at, you were with before, but she has kindly left the what you were sleeping upon. But you are out in the open, and it has begun to rain and you are soaking wet and very cold. Mm. The rest of you awake when this rainstorm begins as well. Early in the morning, just at dawn, or what you would expect to be dawn. But it is a thunderstorm. Come back to the center. Just, what is it with these people and wanting to do all this stuff outside? Perhaps they find it more freeing. But not when it's raining. Let me help. But you never kissed anyone in a rainstorm? Well, that depends. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lovable fool. Just only wondering. joking, only joking. <laughs> and he'll speak the word maleficius arbitus and he'll just dry off. Ah, thank you. Hmm. That's a handy spell to have. <laughs> A child could um. learn it. <laughs> Alimus, we should probably check in with Casimir um, to let him know what our plans are. I agree. All right. No, head on. Down. You tell, uh, okay. Yeah, you're able. All right, is that all your intentions are? Is just telling him you're heading into town to collect things and um, to collect things yeah. and to see what the situation is with the festival we'd, we'd like um, look so around we might be see. a little delayed in hmm. um, heading off towards his intended destination yeah cool. I would like to look around to see if Aragal is around may I? sure um, go ahead and make a perception check as you're looking around that is a seven is Maris aware that Jeswaldo is going to go look for Aragal? Oh, do you make this known? I don't go looking for him. I just sort of do a slow pan. Okay. okay. Maris, you, that's if what you I see, was hiding uh, somewhere, where doing. would I hide? <laughs> um, okay. you do, There's no place to hide here. You find all the places and you're like, I could be hidden there. 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 I could be hidden in all of these places. But I'm not. Maurice. Giswaldo is very bad at finding things, by the way. <laughs> do you have the power to remove people's curses? I do have that power, yes. We have two people in need of it. Oh. What do you mean? Yeah, who... Um... Um, <laughs> Giswaldo, you will feel this ever since you woke up, too. There's something tugging at you. This desire, this primal feeling that you feel if you were to give yourself over to this other side of yourself that seems to be growing and in intensity, you might become something else. Should you willingly give in to these primal instincts that have been growing? See, now why did you have to word it that way? Because <laughs> <laughs> just what it would be like, well, what is this? Book, book, book. <laughs> I said, well, look at your wound. It's not even mm. healing properly. Look at Festers. Well, that is strange. It's, it itches. Yeah, stop scratching. Do I? It's really good. Oh, I, that is amazing. What I amazing. know what that is. <laughs> 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 it starts to thump. Oh, that's a nod. That feels so much better. Sorry, where's, where's that stick gone? Oh, I'm going to throw it. <laughs> Just to prove a point. Um, he, He's a lizard again, oh. by the way. So, um... What, what I know now? about the oh, lycanthropy. Sorry. No, you're fine. 
You uh, you do know that it I... can be transmitted by the bite of a creature. You guys talked about that before. Um, yeah, I thought so. I don't know what Sariv would know. You it's... were in my hood for that fight, so you could have been like peeking out and watching. Yeah, he was in your hood. That's what I <laughs> thought immediately. I thought of that too. I, don't, I had to resist. I didn't. I'm glad Sean didn't. <laughs> but that, that, yeah, it is. Um, you guys rolled really well, so you would know that it can be. Uh, the creature can give in willingly to this curse but there are times when the curse can take form against their will as what well. are the downsides i don't you won't have I, I hold out my what's that oh um, so even for a druid um Sarev, based on your guys's check and discussion before you would know that that um lycanthropies sometimes kill just for pleasure not for practice not for meat not for mm. anything they kill more than they should they kill the whole herd to watch them bleed all right all right they that is even in nature predator yeah. and prey is nature they lycanthropies are evil True. even in a nature setting so bears are lawful good <laughs> um okay sure can you take a look at he's him, Maurice? curious but he won't do anything then what's going on hmm? I, i'd say to maurice can you take a look at him yes um maris would like to go <laughs> inspect the situation go make a go ahead and make a uh, medicine check And this is just a clarification question for me. Since we're not currently on the map, do I need to have like clicked anything on roll twenty for it to show up? Nope. No, no, it'll be fine. I showed. Okie doke. Dang it! I like the second one better, but ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah, it's it's not healing well, but mm -hmm. beyond that, it's hard to say. But Sean, uh, just Waldo, were you telling the rest of the group any of your feelings, or have you know? Uh, well, I, I think he's probably made it rather plain on his behavior. Yeah. Little odd things here and there asking for meat. <clears throat> um, some of the things that are somewhat funny, but probably disconcerting in real life. Mm -hmm. um, the lady also got bit. I'm not sure uh, she's contracted. He, feels, he, feels, maybe he did complain is. about feeling cold right after the bite. And... Do so can Maris? Go ahead. Do you think I'm cursed? Honestly, do I look cursed? Absolutely. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm actively concerned that you're cursed. Would you be opposed to me casting a spell just in case? Will it hurt? Uh, no. But then by all means. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Exception check. <laughs> <laughs> right. It hurts! No. It hurts! Oh god, it hurts! <laughs> no, you'll be fine! Uh, I uh, do a stealth check and cast Fireball at the same time. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> well, he's not cursed anymore. The wizards remove cursed. Fireball. Okay. Did that work? Yep, it did. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How All right. do I feel, DM? So how does this, uh, how does this, the casting of this spell look from Maris? So Maris places her hand above where she sees the wound mm -hmm. and a warm, but it's like the, the feeling of the spell is warm, but the color of it is moonlight. It's like moonlight and mm -hmm. it goes out and sun, like surrounds the wound and it glows as it kind of permeates yeah. yeah so even though it's daylight you see the hand the the, the um, light coming off her hand reminds you of what it looks to be like when you 
are out on a perfectly clear night and the moon you can see without any trace of sunlight. Um, those of you who are human, um, it is you're almost seeing everything just a little bit more clearly under the light of her hand. Everything looks right and orderly for a moment and you see the wounds begin to close and you see even though he's normally a very relaxed person, something in Jaswaldo just eases. Every bit of him relaxes just a bit. Meow. And Jaswaldo, you realize suddenly that even though it was a very, very brief moment, you had, you were not fully yourself. There was another you there for a moment that has now been tempered Make and removed. You feel much better. I think the lady's also cursed. I would. So can I go engage with her? Can I just cast? Mm -hmm. um, she will be very eager and grateful for it Excellent. as well. Excellent. Okay, so that accidentally rolled twice. So is it okay that we just use that one? Yeah, of course. That's Great. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just mark the two level three spell slots. Cool. And you will hear a low thunder ripple across the realm as you cast this spell what's the matter just well done don't want to go and run around in the puddles again i am um, i had a very very vivid dream last night and i uh, uh we, we might want to get going yeah okay uh perhaps at this point i've come back from telling casimir what's up did have did he have any sure. input? Uh he will say that's fine. It's not a very good day for traveling anyway. It's yep. pouring rain. So. so should should we just come back here when we're ready to go? He says he will be here whenever you are ready to go to the Amber Temple to come Sounds get him, good. but be quiet we'll about it. So Mom's the word. Yeah. Well, so you're leaving then back yep. up to Velaki? Yep. As you are leaving, um just Waldo, I know you've been looking around for this Aragal. Mm -hmm. um, suddenly it's apparent where he is as you see this wagon before uh, that you sort of looted you see him sort of sitting in the door which is swinging open just leaning uh, leaning on his elbows on his knees and a little uh, sort of making a little tent of his fingers resting his chin and looking towards all of you and he will just wave a bit ah I have something for you. I'll head over. Indeed. Your healing potion. Ah. Yes, indeed. I wouldn't drink it if I were you. Or let anyone oh. you love drink it. Oh, of course not. I'm very glad you didn't mistake it for something wholesome. Who's it intended for? Well, that is yet to be decided. Just another tool. Right, mage? Mm. Depends what you I use your tools for. I only see one for. tool. <laughs> Depends what you use your tools for, I suppose. Good day. Exactly, my point. I'll head off to the See group. you around. Turn around and cast disintegrate. Meet us well. <laughs> Damn, I'm not high enough level. Uh, that's, a, that's like a level six spell, right? <laughs> Don't know. He will just he will just sit and watch you go. Maris mutters under her breath to Claire that she does not like that guy. Oh, trust me, my friend, I do not either. He can shove it for all I care. I could go back and stab him right now. Uh, let's not be overly aggressive just The last on. thing he would expect. I mean, he just saw us leave. <laughs> no, I think it would probably be the first thing he'd expect just well though. Let's, uh, let's head back to town, guys. Sounds it's like good we to need see to... you're feeling normal again. <laughs> yes. We need winter clothes. What? We're going on a journey. Yeah. We need to get some furs, some stuff to keep us warm. Oh, right. You were busy last <laughs> night. Did you have fun? Um, 
I did, but the dream kind of took the sheen off of it. Hmm. All right. Well, as as we're walking, um, Elimus and I can fill the rest of the group in on what we've learned from Casimir, and that we have a uh, a new Just quest. Those barely barely paying attention. <laughs> Claire, um, another thing. I oh do, yes. I do not think that we should leave the lady here either. Irene is with us, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like right. Okay. Oh, do you mean in uh, Valaki? Do you feel it's going to be I, safe here for her? I've not been keen on it since we got here. Especially not with that lady. Vokter? Whatever her name was. Yeah, Fiona Vokter. Mm. Um, I don't know. I I feel really conflicted about her because I... She seemed fine to me, but the, even pres- the presence of something infernal in nature definitely sets me off. Hmm. And also, again, that Isek guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll just try to assess some of that today. See what happens with this festival. See who's wandering around. The other thing was mentioned was this temple. Could this be the Amber Doors for the same temple? The which temple? She mentioned uh, a temple before, didn't she? There was two things, Valaraki and a temple, that, or is it a cathedral? She could be. Oh, for the places that Arena might be mm. safe? Uh, that's a different uh, town, Kresk. There's like an abbey or something out there that was recommended that we check out. If we... Do you think that's the same place as the, uh, the Amber Doors? Um, well, that's... Um, we saw a sign for Kresk. Right? Is that mm-hmm. which direction was that in from here? It's further, it, it was further to the west. West. And colder climbs would be in which direction? Well, Presumably up into some, mountains, maybe. Yeah, there are some, there are two visible mountains from where you're at, very plainly. To the north, there's a giant one, and the, the tallest one is to the south um, okay. of Falaki. One of them was just beyond the lake. That's where the foothills of the mountain started, um, right. Mount Baratok. Um, but the one to the south is much larger. Okay. Um, I mean, I just going by that, I'm thinking these locations might be different. Mm, probably. You know, with Pandagon, this might be a good time to check out that windmill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> Guys, we can check out the windmill. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Um, uh, festival first, <laughs> and warm clothes first. Um, we Why could... do we need warm clothes? I t- just Waldo, were you listening to anything we just said? Yeah, more or less. But why the warm clothes? In case you get cold. Cold. What are we? Going I do to... not need warm clothes. Are we going or someplace? any clothes? It's that's, perfect. That's it's fine. Warm. It's, it's summer. You're different. Um, Very. You're going to want a cloak <laughs> or something. And if you don't get one and we're up on some mountain, if we're you're freezing your balls off, then you're going to thank me if you actually have something warm to wear. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Think about your future ability to put out. I hate the mountains. We're really going to. Our- <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> you make your way to the gates of Valaki, bickering and uh, insinuating <laughs> as <laughs> as always, <laughs> and uh, you see a couple guards there uh, peel the doors back for you. Um, seem to have recognized you and say, "Oh, you should hurry in. The festival's about to start." I'm ecstatic. All right. Oh uh, yeah. Where do we all, go? all will be well. All will be well. As I long as you get, get to, to that festival. damn festival. Okay. Okay. Um, is festival? there? You <laughs> wish to go to the festival? Ah uh, yeah. Um, there we go. Mother had died. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, is there a clothing shop on the way there? Some some place where warm. Are you asking the uh, the guards? You know, I I will ask the guard. Yes. It, <laughs> Uh, well, no one's going to be 
tight attending their shops right now. Oh, Everyone's got to gather. Course. So I'd, perfect. I'd, they wish to go to the festival. Sure. Okay. We'll do our shopping later. You have to um, go to the festival. I mean, uh, of course. Of course. So uh, what I about guess you? we will you also go to the festival. Are you, go are you going? I'm guarding the gate. <laughs> but you want to go though, don't you? Yes. I, I, I really wish I could go to that festival, but you know, I got to stay here and, you know, Help guard Velaki, so all will be well. You are doing an amazing job. <laughs> all will be well. All will be well. Yeah. Someone's got to stay. Make Start sure walking off with everyone. I just wish we could burn this place to the ground. You know, if there's nobody in any of the shops. Just Waldo. I'm just saying. I may have a slightly lo looser moral compass than some of my compatriots, but I'm not that bad. You see in and out we of could, some of that. We could leave money then. It... <laughs> Just kidding. To the main square, where I assume this whole shindig's happening. In and out of some of the houses, you see a couple families darting out. Uh, you see a, a few people gathering a few last twigs and bundles and such. You remember that the time you were here before, people were obsessed with gathering what seemed to be kindling little pieces of firewood there were a lot of dead flowers and such um you see my pack people... i pulled this the stick that i had gotten last night as a dog <laughs> i wonder if, you make... i wonder if M marie is going to burn her straw uh marionette oh fitting. we wouldn't do we no wouldn't no I, do she that. might want to i don't know <laughs> we can ask her <laughs> um and you as you approach the town square you see hundreds of people gathered around a tall scaffolding structure which has been constructed and we will take a quick break there dum, dum, before dum. we approach the festival there right. is it is pouring rain by the way <laughs> that you guys are standing in and everyone every single person out in the town is standing out in this rain at the moment so cool uh, that is what you come upon and um, we will take a quick five, ten minute break. Okay. We'll be back with the Festival of the Blazing Sun in Valaki. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. Wait, I'm not ready. And I rip out Jeswaldo's throat. Oh. <laughs> game oh, over, shit. everyone. Thank you oh, for that's joining game us. Over? That's yeah. it. See? That's it was it. all in Jeswaldo's head. Game yeah. over, man. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> He he, you wake he, up he thought so much of himself. He became the main character, and now we have to. Reload. <laughs> oh no! Now we have to reload a save point. So um, the, your last auto save was um, you had just <laughs> passed through the gates of Velaki after um, uh, loading screen. Blah 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 blah. You know, after having uh, spoken to the Vasani camp, just you guys really just spent the whole first part of the session hanging out there, um, and you uh, had some confrontations with Argal, and now you are on your way. Uh, and Kazimir promised to take you to the Amber Temple whenever you guys are ready. Yeah. Has the music stopped? Some... Or... Uh, nope. I'm going to restart some here. I don't know what happened. I didn't know if it was my end or. <laughs> uh, so, pass in, you make your way down the main road of Velaki, past the church. There's a large church on the western side into the center. Um, uh, the center portion. Where is my audio for this just wanted to add well done to peter for added music i've yes, been trying you, um i can't actually hear it because of my setup for some reason it's not playing right now but here we go So, past the church, past many houses, you make it to the center of town. The rain is still pouring. Or the rain actually lets up a bit as you guys get into Velaki. And you think, well, this is like, good. Thanks to the bathroom break. Trounce through the mud, yeah. Then, but the skies are still rolling, dark clouds, threatening. <clears throat> and here, in the center of town, you see a parade of unhappy children dressed as flowers 
trudging through muddy streets, leading the way for a group of sorry looking men and women carrying a 10 foot diameter wicker ball. The burgomaster and his smiling wife who holds a sad bouquet of wilting flowers follow the procession on horseback. As weary spectators watch from their stoops, the ball is borne to the town square. There it is hoisted and hung from a 15 foot high wooden scaffold and the townsfolk take turns splashing it with oil. Before the wicker sun can be set ablaze, the sky tears open once again in a sudden downpour. All will be well, cries the burgomaster as he brandishes a sputtering torch and marches defiantly toward in the rain toward the wicker ball, only to have his torch go out as he thrusts it into the sphere. Fireball. <laughs> a singular cool. laugh erupts from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and all around you is silent as the burgomaster's fiery gaze turns to the man and the townsfolk around him gasp. Seize that man! Guards! And you see a number of guards going, oh, it's actually another one of the guards that laughed. And they grab him. He's like, oh, no, I didn't mean to. No. And they drag him up to the burgomaster. Bind him! For malicious unhappiness. And they bind his hands. They bind his feet. There, tie a rope to his feet. Now give it to me. And he, uh, they bind the man. They, um, and the burgomaster takes his rope and ties it to his saddle. This is what becomes of malicious unhappiness and the crime of spite. And uh, um, the uh, his wife next to him says, huh, all will be well. <laughs> and he kicks his horse and begins to drag the man, kicking behind him, bound through the streets in the mud behind his horse. Hmm dragging him in a few circles around the crowd who are mostly silent some cheering on some throwing bits of sticks and stuff at this guard being dragged around and they finally curve around and start to head up to what you suspect to be the burgomaster's mansion the wicker ball seems forgotten happy festival everybody this town is awful. The crowd begins to disperse. Irina says, I really don't think this is a good place for me. And you I also agree. see the large form of Isak Strasny lumbering through the square. <laughs> Irina, put your hood up. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree with you. He friend. does. I'm not keen to leave you here either. Um, where's Isak going? Seems to be following the Burgomaster with a contingent of guards up to the mansion. All right. Just as a reminder, guys, he's still on my shit list and I want to check him out, but we don't have to do that right now. Right, right now we have to buy warm clothing, right? Yeah. Are people heading back to shops? Um, people are just kind of standing around and looking right now, seeing if it's okay to go. The horse goes on. They drag him behind the Burgomaster's mansion, waiting for a moment. It doesn't seem like they're coming back out. And so people quietly. Why don't we take that huge beast now? But just like murder him in the street? Like in the streets? Not in the street. Let's follow him. Okay. Okay. Sure. Let's uh, subtly tail him. I'm really good at that. Are you? I'm not so bad at it. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's we... not how I prefer to do things, but. Sure. Uh, pick up certain things. 
We can tail Isak. All right. In a sort of casual manner. All right. Uh, give a casual. Uh, it sounds like you're trying you not me, to be seen, though. Why don't you that. let me follow him and you follow me? Okay. I I like Jaswaldo's plan. Me too. Let me help with that, Jaswaldo. Mm. Let me help with that. You'll place a hand on your shoulder mm. and speak the word Inusipilitas, and you will disappear. But then we can't see him. No. How long is just Waldo invisible for? Uh, let me check. It's concentration up to an hour. Wow. Very nice. Mm. All right. Just Waldo, you there? I am. This, this is, is weird. Really strange. Don't is touch anyone... anyone's butt. If you attack anyone, the spell will fail. Anyone's butt? No one's. Maybe yours. Oh, touching well, someone's butt is not an attack. Do. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. Yeah. All right. I will. I will follow him. You. Mm. How will we do this? We'll just stay back. You you go and do what you need to do, what you're skilled at, and come back I and report. And if I find where he lives, and if I find any information or whatever, I will yep. come back. Be on the lookout for dolls. For dolls, right. Okay. And I will follow Isaac. Okay. Invisibly. You see Isaac go up to the Burgomaster's mansion. And walk in the front door. I will also walk in the front door. Ah. If it is possible. Go ahead and make a stealth check. You have advantage. To kind of slip in the door. Mm. It's still raining, right? It is. Is everyone wet? I mean, yes, rather wet. So that would not necessarily be a giveaway for me if I was to be in there dripping. There would be um, other people dripping. Not necessarily, but it, that might change in certain situations. That um, You're looking, a couple other guards went through this front door. All right, so, so I will go in behind the guards, slipping in before they close the door. A 21... Okay. And and a 28 with a natural 20. Beautiful. Ooh, nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I Just made Waldo it through that solo way. mission time. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought it would be better if he did than, than us trudging around. That That's fair. Selfish. We can look for some heavy duty we could be uh, close by clothing. Yeah. Mm. We'll just we'll sort of walk in that general direction, look be on the lookout for some winter clothes as we do. We're shopping. Don't lose, don't lose concentration. <laughs> Jade. All right. I won't hit him. <laughs> just Waldo, if you'd like to drag yourself in the front door here. Um I just put myself somewhere in the room. I will Draw in another one. You can delete that other one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here you go. Um, so there are framed portraits adorning the walls along this corridor. And there's a, a wide staircase with a sculpted railing going up here. There's a long carpeted hallway um, that stretches almost the length of the mansion and has several doors leading from it, including one at the far end. Uh, the there are... Uh, bundles of twigs against the wall. Seems there were more than were needed to fashion the giant wicker sun that you saw. Um, still some is there an area where it seems that people removed wet clothing, made a bit of a wet mess? Um, you do see this. Um, there is a woman right next to you. Seems to be in servant's clothes. She is taking some wet cloaks and she goes into this room as you enter and seems to hang some of them up in what looks to be a coat room here. 
All right. As she does that, I do my best to uh, wring out the clothes. Okay. Right here. Make sure that I'm not leaving too much of a trail of water. Okay. No, does she? You have a few moments where you are certainly um, unobserved. Right. While she is doing that, I will creep down the hallway and listen at each door. Okay. Unfortunately, this is not going to be easy for me, but we'll see. Approaching this door. Go ahead and make your check. They have already four. Nothing you hear nothing beyond the door. Listen to this door. 19. You hear a familiar voice. I promise to have these prepared for the uh, festival. Aren't they good? <laughs> oh, oh, your hat is so droll. <laughs> Oh, but um, we can fix that someday. Certainly, though. Uh, have your tea and some of uh, these biscuits as well. Uh, all will be well. <laughs> you hear beyond the door. That's so it sounds wife. like she is talking with somebody. Uh, yes. Did I you don't see really hear other voices? Did I but... see anybody with a hat, with accompanying them? Um, you saw a few. Yes, it seemed to be peasants. That accompanied the lady as she entered, as they withdrew from the festival. Oh, right. She seemed to have brought a few people in to the home with them. The, the lady, that's the one that wants, what's her name, dead, isn't it? Or is that his wife? No, this is his wife. No, okay. This is the burgomaster's wife. This is the burgomaster's wife. So I will creep down to this door and I will listen. Uh, okay. <laughs> but they three. Silence beyond. And I will listen at this door. With a seven. So perceptive. And at the final door. Okay. With a five. Mm, great. You hear some sort of commotion happening beyond the door. But what it is, it's hard to tell. It sounds like knocking or something like that. Mm. Hard to open these doors, invisible. Let me think. May I use a flint and tinder to light these twigs? You really like setting things on fire, don't you, Jezvaldo? This is the first time I've done it. That's not true. You... you set stairs on fire. Oh, that's right. I actually just reviewed that in my notes. You can certainly try. Will doing something like this um, end invisibility? No, it's got to be a, a, an attack. No, oh, an attack. An ability using abilities or items or something. It's the, the uh, conditions for removing invisibility are very um, what is specific. the light source in this on this hall um there are there are torches torch sconces on the wall so all right so i take a torch sconch or torch from the, the wall making sure that nobody is looking at me okay and i will light one of the uh twigs directly under it yes. get it going fairly well and then Put it out, making a decent amount of smoke. Okay. And then I will replace this, the uh, the uh, torch. And I will hide in this corner. Okay. Which, what area are you, which bundle did you, uh, that one? Okay. In there, in, in fact, I will so do, did I will, you extinguish will, it just to create smoke or are you trying to set a, start a fire? I am not trying to start a fire. I'm going to let it burn to a degree in order to make sure there's a good amount of smoke. And I will do one there. You know, I, I will find the places where there are torches and I will light the twigs that are closest to them so that it is plausible that a spark from a torch of some sort could have lit them. Okay. So I will do it in multiple places, creating a corridor of smoke. 
Got it. Okay. And, and then you're hiding, the, correct? And then I will place the torches and I will hide. It seems to me that this is the most likely spot to stand to, to hide where nobody will run into me. Okay. Go ahead and make that stealth check with advantage. So that's a 17. And an 11. So 17. Okay. And I will crouch and make myself smoke. There will be the smoke will continue to rise, and you'll hear. Um, I'm going to suggest to the group that we move close to the house. Okay. Sure, we'll make our way up. <laughs> this you will see a figure looking around and saying, "I smell this sweat." Oh, God! Oh, and she starts to run this direction, um, and she says, "Anya!" She goes, "Anya, get out here!" Anya! Whatever n noise was happening here stops as two women in servants' clothes rush out and begin to stamp out the fire and the twigs. Um, uh, one rushes back into the kitchen. For a moment, you hear thumping, fumbling, clattering, and you see her return with what seems to be a pitcher of water and um, car uh, splashes it onto this wood. They seem to have put it out, and when they're satisfied, uh, you hear that, what? She's got our guests in there. I know, just let's get rid of the smoke. Maybe open the, uh, open the window, maybe. Over in the, in the, um, in the den, just open the window. Just... So, no, the den, there's the, there's the door there. No, 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 let's open this window in our room. And they, you see them both rush this way, leaving the door open. One of them reemerges with what seems to be a large, or a, like a, a bed sheet, and starts fanning the air in this direction, in a panic. All right, the to other be, one. To to uh, just to make sure, mm -hmm. this was a kitchen. It seemed to be. Yeah. They said den, and they indicated this room. Correct. And they said their room, and they indicated this room. Oh, sorry. Um, the, uh, uh, they called this a serving room, my mistake. And they called this their room. Yes. All right. This, so this, was, this, this was, was their room. This was the, the serving room. They called it. Okay. And so far I haven't heard anything about what is in this room. Correct. All right. They seem to be fanning the smoke away from this end of the hallway for now. I will wait until they are done. Okay. They seem to be happy with what they're doing. This one returns. What the hell? Why did something like this happen? Well, I don't know. Maybe that damn torch or something. Oh, God, let's gotta gather these together. There was way too many of them. We didn't need anything like this. People have been working since the last festival to get these together. And you see the way, shh, shh, shh no, don't talk like that in the house. Come now. And they, uh, one moves back through this door, and the other one starts to gather, sort of sweeping up the ashes, other pieces of this, and <laughs> coughing, waving at the smoke in front of her, just trying to clean up. All right, I will wait until it seems like it's an opportune moment, and I will try to sneak past her. Okay. She will move up into this room here. Oh, well, that will be perfect. And I will come back down to here. All right. I will listen one more time. Okay. With a five. Silence beyond. And then I will creep up the stairs. Well, I will look at the stairs here first. Does it appear that anyone wet went up the stairs? That does not even require a check. Yes, there is some water on the stairs. All right, I will go up the stairs, being careful not to step in water. All right. They open up and uh, into a landing and proceed to another level above. you would like to scroll up you see above you 
is what you can see. I see. So I came up here, and I will come up to here. These are windows, I assume. Mm -hmm. How far? A staircase. About how, about how it's about up twenty feet up okay. to a beautifully appointed gallery that continues west, running almost the length of the house. Again, you can see in the corner in this direction. The hallway right. continues quite some way. Are these um, windows there are framed? Locked? Uh, yes, they are windows that are not intended to open. They're iron framed with no mechanism to open them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do I see? You turn the corner here and you see there's a staircase on the other side. What are there, these two the, things I see? And there are two large dogs right. just laying on the ground. I quickly go back around the corner. You hear uh, you you do hear the quick sound of what sounds like a maybe a whip or a uh, uh, kind of sound. Around coming from here or further down? Seems to have emanated, well, ahead of you. It's tough to tell from here or here because it still came from this direction. Let me see what I have in my pack. I don't think I have anything that could possibly deal with a dog. Let alone Just Waldo's greatest dogs. weakness. Indeed. I've got some soap. Yeah, I've got no food for them. Okay. I think we're done here. I will go back down these stairs. Okay. And I will just open the door and go out. All right. And no, I, will, I will go ahead. scout the house. I will look around. I will try to get an idea of possible other entry points and okay. I will look for maybe any secret doors or cellars or ways into other parts of the house. Sure. I mean, you can make an investigation check but uh, if you would like, but you will easily find there's a back door here. Ah. I will listen at this door. Okay. You hear uh, well, go ahead and make your perception check. 13. Oh yeah, you hear pop, 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 pop. Sounds like a little slamming sound. Like maybe somebody cutting something? Something like that, yes. All right. You've played I the games. Begin. You know, you need to go down to the kitchen, get the meat, go back up to the dogs. <laughs> throw it for the... I thought about that, but then it becomes two hours of me messing around. So I'm going to uh, make Having an investigation. We're all on the edge of our sheet, seats, Sean. Oh, you are, uh, yeah. You're a very experienced D&D &D player, and you now have... Uh, you're on a solo mission. And... Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to make an investigation of a five. There's no other way in. Watch as Waldo like get himself killed. Yeah, uh, that's not like, going to be happen, funny but... if I just drop the spell right now. That's not going to happen because Jaswaldo is going to smack find him gently. Jaswaldo is going to find the party. Okay, because you make your way back. Not a fool, despite all appearances. What is the? Uh... How do you get their attention? I go find a clothing shop. What? Oh, I didn't know you guys were just carrying on. I thought you guys were waiting somewhere for no, no, no. You actually we, just we pissed moved off and close like went to, the to house. go. No, we yeah. were like making our way there, yeah. just like looking yeah. for shops on the way okay. in case something caught our eye. So you guys are kind of in the main square. It's very near to where the Burgomaster's mansion is. So okay. it wasn't so I come back up and I say, hey, don't be alarmed, but I'm back. Oh. You guys hear that I could sense sound you appearing from nothing. On the house here, by the way, where where is the uh, Burgomaster's mansion? On the the main map, you mean? Yeah. Ah, I see. And the main square. No, that was me that pinged it. I don't know if that's a guess. Oh. That was a guess. So I'm thinking it is this one. I think it's that one. I think it's this one. <laughs> it is here. Oh, Claire for the right. win. <laughs> Oh, that one. And this main square is right here. So it wasn't uh, long. Okay. You just followed them around 
Sure. Uh, it's yeah. a small bend. It, it was a leisurely far. stroll. How much longer do you think this spell will last, Linus? Uh, how long has it gone, DM? It's been about 10 or 15 minutes mm -hmm. since okay. Giswaldo chickened out on his mission. You have plenty of time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? Hey. What do you have planned? Just kidding. <laughs> it is, uh, there's not much to the house. There is a few servants at the bottom and a lady entertaining guests. Um, I, the poor fellow who's being whipped is upstairs, but there are dogs. Uh, we could we could probably do something to prevent that from happening, but I thought I would come back and see just how crazy you want things to get in there. It could easily burn the place down. Easily. What guest do you speak of? Uh, I think just peasants. All right. Well... Burning something may cause a diversion. May force, oh, yes, it would. force people out of the house so we can see who they are. It's true. All right. Well, that is what I wanted to check. If you are up for it, I could totally set that place on fire. Well, well try not to make sure anyone. it's not something that's going to, like, actually kill people. Oh, no. I'll be very careful setting the fire. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey. Okay, well, if he does end up start running out, be sure you look for an opportune informant to stab him, okay? Yeah. We are I stabbing guess. him, right? That is that is the goal? We want to kill mm. this man? We're all all right with it? Oh. We didn't actually really have that discussion in depth. We need to know what he's doing. Did you not yeah. see him inside? It sounded like someone was being whipped, and if I could choose one person of that entire group who would be whipping, it would be him. We should still know for sure before we start killing people willy-nilly. Mm. Maybe but, don't lead with the stabbing. But yeah. definitely burn the house down. N no. <laughs> start a small fire such that people leave the house, but the house doesn't burn down. You like me to distract the dogs? Great idea. Yes. Sure. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Excellent. I, I think I can do that. All right be interested to see what you do like a, you're gonna turn um, into a cat <laughs> that was my initial very first thought <laughs> i suspect they could catch me though and then eat your face Thus there are two the ways in Reeve. and out we no say cat that i saw that he goes work. in as a saber tooth <laughs> the dogs run right. for their life <laughs> <laughs> wrong cat <Sarif>. <laughs> um <laughs> I would find it hard to approach the building. I could become small and you could carry me in. Why can't you just go as a cat? You can get in the building as a cat, surely. Just water's gonna open the door. In his pocket would be even easier. I don't know. Okay. I left the door open. Hopefully it's still there. Or I'm sure the door is still there. Hopefully it is still open. Here we go. Um... What are you gonna be? Come on, impress me. Form so, of... so I'm going to, um, I pull out some ash out of my pouch and mm -hmm. sort of just like smear it under my eyes and I will cast Path Without, Pass Without Trace. Ooh, and then, okay. um, I will... How many people does that affect? Yeah, that's quite a few. Anyone within 30 feet of me. <laughs> um, so so, that's a plus, yeah, like well, plus 10 plus 10, stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. I could use that. Um, and then I'm going to... Do you have a backpack on? or I do. Just pockets? I oh, do have okay. a sack. Mind, sorry. You have a sack? I'll I be do. a cat in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cat in the sack! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Newest oh, no. toy! <laughs> All um, right. You're a cat in a sack. Does the cat in the sack become invisible? Or does it no. need to be smaller than that? In no, order because he's a separate person. Yeah. It's hard inside to... of a, a thing that you're carrying. If it's inside the sack, then I could see that working. But the sack's invisible, not new things that you put inside the sack. So there's a floating cat? There's just a right. cat going yeah. by. What if, if he was to turn into something smaller that it could actually be like close in, like in a pocket? Would that work? That's what I was thinking. Um... Sometimes, like, 
it's amazing thing as a dm all of you dms out there watching um when you you go over to your other tabs and you realize oh yeah i thought that might happen (laughs) and then you realize (laughs) i was like all right we're on a we're on a very different thing i also uh, searched inventory instead of invisibility uh all right i just want to look at what the spell wording says because that will kind of affect um how i how i rule it because i like to read because the dnd creators are very thoughtful you know there's some gray areas but some things you are surprisingly well thought out not sure. surprisingly but anyway um I have a plan so a creature you touch way, becomes so. invisible anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it is on the target's person the spell hmm. ends for that target blah 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 So anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible um, as long as it is on the target's person. To me, that sounds like if you were to pick up a small item or a small object and stow it on your person, that it would be affected by the invisibility spell. So does that include the sack? I would think so. I wouldn't, I would call into question if you were to just pick up another person and firemen carry them while invisible. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, um, yes. that would just be like, whoosh. that That would be a little weird, but um, I was going to ask how many because, people we can piggyback. <laughs> I think um, something like this, because it's very creative and very interesting, I would say yes. Um, All right, sure. All right. Okay. So he's the cat in the sack being carried by Jerzwaldo the Invisible. Bandit. Here we go. Bandito. um, So, to everyone else, um, there's just, it's very hard to see. Probably, I don't know, probably Alimus notices it, and maybe uh, Maris. Maris, um, There's, it's just very slightly darker in that area. um, And the, if there's any like grass around, it becomes a deeper green. any leaves or anything on bushes are all deeper greens and um, the shadows are a little bit greater and more shadowy, darker. That's fun. Everyone, so um, the druid went into your eyes and basically turned up the contrast. (laughs) 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 Delightful. All right, so sorry when I come back and I check to see if the door is still open. It is. And I step in and I once again do what I can to remove okay. the water. You got um, quiet, sure. There's oh, a sorry. there's a I servant don't... here still kind of fussing about in the entryway with cloaks and such. All right, I'll make a stealth check if I need to. You do need to. All right, at advantage because of invisibility and also Indeed. pass without a trace. So that's a twenty-five. Um. Yes. And a. You stealthily your, ring your water. lowest twenty nine. Yeah. Your lowest possible, I think, was a nineteen. <laughs> okay, Jesus. right. It's Unless true. I roll, but if I roll a one, it automatically fails, right? Not on a skill. No, check. I guess that not. is, not that is only check. for attacks. That's right. That's right. All right. And saves, isn't it? Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Just attacks. Really? Just attacks. Really? Technically, yeah. Oh. Critical fails are are. It's like no, a critical failure is just a critical miss. Anything else is just flavor and, and, huh. and homebrew, which can be great. But um, yeah, All right, I come over you're, here. You're good. And I take a torch and I light three bushels of sticks. And I oh, is this the also the plan? You are catting and setting the place oh, on I fire. Didn't know they this. said to do that, right? Where are now? Was, that was <laughs> after. I thought you were gonna use uh, uh, sorry. I yeah. thought you were gonna. Uh, all right. Okay. Then no. I, then no. All right. Okay, I, it's up to you. I thought that uh... I, my yeah. All right, wait. Why not? I will not do this at the moment. Okay, and I will go back upstairs. All right, and I we've lost. I myself. re-reveal, and indeed the dogs seem to be in the same place. And I will open the sack. All right. I. I... Well, the sack. And the second they see me, I'll start running. What direction do you start running? Um, sorry, I take that back. As soon as they start moving, like to come get me, 
Okay, I'll so run. do you move like over to here and start running? Um, I want to run back. Oh, I guess I'm technically going to run past Jeswaldo, so good work or good luck. Um, is there anything I can climb upon? A ledge or something? Um, there is. This is. So um, I'm going to reveal a thing here that says open to below. That's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stand upon the railing and I balance. All right, make an acrobatics check for that. Uh -oh. I have rolled a critical oh. 31. That's good. And as you, uh, the dogs it? <laughs> take off, it's really good. They start <laughs> and start to run down the stairs. Um, so I will shortcut. I'll jump down some of the stairs because yep. I'm a cat. And I only have a 40 foot move, so I think they'll catch me eventually. I just need to get outside, basically. I don't know if they will. Let's. I'm going to double check there. I feel like they At can the very end of the hall, you should not. turn into like a saber tooth cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like eat them. Yeah, get a snack. They, they have an equal speed to you. Okay. So I'm going to run outside, basically out the front door, and climb a tree because I have a climb speed. All right, just Waldo, um, you uh, and uh, sorry, review sorry here. Hey, no, you sit. Bad. <sighs> Chasing off another one of those. <sighs> Though I, gosh, I suppose there's uh, just another one to add to the bone pile up there. Ugh. I hate to think about it, but uh, you don't want all of them gone, do you? Why couldn't you be friends? Killing all of them. <sighs> Bad dogs. Killing all the cats. Uh, and you I, hear... I, I will... And you look around the corner here. Mm -hmm. You see a long hallway with some closed doors. Who was saying about the cats? This uh, servant. Oh, servant. Here. Okay, yeah. Um, do I still hear the whipping? Uh, you do. I mean, I don't really know what I can do on my own other than burn the place down. I mean, you could become a man. <laughs> a real man. An interesting staircase over here. That'd be interesting to check out. I'll just love it. Okay. What's, your head. what's around this corner? Another hallway. Do we? And the source of the whipping. As the whipping becomes fainter. Seems like it was more up in this direction. All right, okay. I come back over here, and I'm going to listen at each door. Okay. A Left two. hand listen. It is a two. It sounds like a door. <laughs> An 18. Ooh. Definitely a door. Yeah. This sounds like an empty room. Right. Which one? So that, that was two rooms, right? Mm hmm All right, so two Wait. rooms, a door, a, so a door and an empty room. Which was the is one that was an empty room? This one uh, was the empty room. Okay. This sounds right. like an empty room. Um, whipping is getting louder? Yes. <laughs> um, and I will listen here. The nine. The nine. Um, it, you don't hear anything coming from beyond. All right, and I will listen at this last room here. It is easy. Even you don't even need to make a perception check beyond this door. As you approach this closely, you hear it's not whipping necessarily, but uh, almost like blunt object. Okay. Impacts coming from I here. will go back to this room over here that you said sounded like an empty room, and I will slowly open this door. <laughs> the one on your on on that side. The yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. You <laughs> you open this room. Dolls. This room is full of pretty little dolls with powder white skin, and auburn hair. Some of them dressed beautifully, others plainly. Some of the dolls 
fill a long bookshelf, and other are arranged in neat rows on wall-mounted shelves. Still others are piled atop a bed in a heavy wooden chest. What is most odd of all is that all of the dolls, apart from their clothing, look exactly the same. They all look exactly like Irina Kolyana. Creepy. What a weirdo. All right, folks. Time for some meta. Hope you forgive it, Peter. Yep. I have an idea to get this guy out, um, at least downstairs. Um, but if it goes wrong, I could die. <laughs> I don't think oh. I could take this guy. Meta is part of playing D and D as as players. It's okay. totally fine. Uh, you do you. Thanks. Um, are, are, well, you're, you're a sweet little <laughs> fellow. <laughs> I would know. If if you attack someone, I would know. Okay. Because the spell would end. Yeah. Because I'm not ready to see Jezwaldo die. <laughs> no, he's All growing right. on and me. And as long as I don't attack anybody, I will stay invisible? For an hour. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Search the room. I will go in here and I will do an investigation check to okay. see if I can find anything interesting. I rolled an eight. Um, just dolls, endless amounts of dolls. All right. I will leave. You notice out. that one of the dolls, even with that roll. Oh, excuse me. Mm, go ahead. One of the dolls. I have to, I have to sneeze in a moment, but uh, it's oh. it's uh, it's it's just hanging out and you know. Mm -hmm doing that thing but each doll has a small tag stitched into the clothing it's easy enough to find even with if that it's not it says, fun is not blinsky. he's no fun he's no blinsky right <laughs> good all right i will lean my head out the door and i will scream in my most feminine voice fire there's a fire in the hallway as loud as i possibly can and i will Quietly close the door and hide. Okay. Uh, make a performance check for your vocal <laughs> acumen. I have rolled a 12. Got it. All right. <sighs> you see one and then two come around the corner. Or you don't see it. Here, thump, anyway. thump, 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 thump. Um, and one... Uh, Seems to stop here, you hear. Now, come, sit. Right, come, sit. It's more like his voice than you hear. One go. Down. A little bit. You hear it quiet. I will very quietly go out this door. Okay. And I will sneak here and I will open this door okay you see a man chained to the wall in guards uniform I will black use... eye badly beaten I will use thieves tools to undo his manacles he says yeah what oh. Oh, why are you, why are you... <laughs> I am strong Ooh. Will uh, flee. Do you actually say that? Yes. <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, you just cool. I rolled oh a critical <laughs> 29. Yeah! <laughs> the guy just dies there and out of shock. <laughs> yes, my lord! Ah! And he starts running. And you hear commotion in the hallway that you cannot see. I will follow a few paces behind okay. him. Okay. Say, you hear as he starts running, say, Isaac! Isaac! And as he, as this one starts to round the corner, you see he stops as a fireball erupts in his chest. 
mostly like someone threw a large moat of flame at him. It hits him squarely in the chest. And he <gasps> starts to pat at it, like trying to put it out, but it only starts the the other clothing he had on fire. And he rides and crumples and falls to the ground. Yikes. Not breathing. Shit. And he what kind of monocles were those, Isaac? Was well, that the voice of the Burgermeister? Yeah. What? And. The disgrace. Is he speaking to this fellow? No, nope. this is the Burgomaster. That is the Burgomaster, and this is Isaac. Indeed. He comes over and. Uh, well. I guess I'll just dump him back in the closet until I can bury him in the gardens at nighttime. Yes, you should do that. And he picks up the body with a single arm and begins to head up the hallway. All right, I will do a acrobatics check to sort of scurry up the wall with my two hands on either side if I can and do a thing to get up high enough so that he passes under me okay he's about seven feet tall so Ooh, make how tall is the check. i mean it's 10 foot hallway it's a 10 foot hallway you have room to be up there but i have rolled nice. a 20 seconds. and you manage it oh my it. gosh amazing and he throws the body in this closet and who needs a plan over. when you can just roll well right well i've got a lot <laughs> of pluses <laughs> I mean, it's making up for all of those shitty perception checks Followed by his dogs seem to come right here. One approaches, kind of sniffs upward. If, if the dogs left, can I run back in? Uh, they they did leave, but you you've just heard nothing. And then you hear, "Come," and they retreats back into this door. I will land. Okay. You hear this body behind you. Hmm. And I will hide here. Enter this room. See where he, go he goes into that room. Okay. Yes. Hmm. When I opened the door, that door, did I see a lock? On the door? Mm -hmm. You did. Does he look like the, side, the sort of man who could probably knock down a door? Oh, sorry. Which door were you talking about? The doll room. That one there. The doll room. He looks like if, if you were to pick a man to knock down a door, that would be exactly who you would choose. So, hypothetically, locking him in his room and then lighting the house on fire would probably not do anything. He'd just break down the door and run. He is seven feet tall and very strong, and he maybe just threw fire at someone. So, I'll very leave good. you to be the judge. Very good. And I see stairs going down. But no obvious way of getting out um like I mean, from, the, the, from the outside door. i didn't see like a way out from the house like like a basement door or anything like that Just... nope you didn't there's the the back door you found and there's the front door how much time am i going on the uh, invisibility it's probably, probably about a half hour yeah. all right i've got to, i've got to see do, 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 do. i go down these steps okay all right, check for traps. <laughs> An eight. Untrapped stairs. Yay! Leading into a kitchen. And there's a woman chopping meat on a, at a table, which is the source of the sound you heard before. There's a door here and a door here. I will listen at those doors. Okay, make another stealth check, please. 30, super good. <laughs> Don't even need to roll the next one. How about a 36? <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> How long is I'm Pass Without a Trace? I'm not there, oh, am I? Okay. You're not I, have I to run out with the dogs. You just get the 20 or the 26. Still oh, okay. really good. 
Um, so here, you hear nothing. Sorry, I know you didn't even roll, but it sounds like a it sounds like silence beyond. Is the door locked? It is not. Is the door trapped? Well, I suppose if I knew it's not locked, then I there's, know it's not trapped. There's not a, there's not a locking it. mechanism on Okay, it, I open so. the door. All right. Here, there is a preparation room. There are two plain wooden tables in the center of the room, neatly arranged atop I one. Is a I don't see anything. Is Really? Wait. No. Which? which really? Down the bottom. <clears throat> Oh, Jaswaldo, you I revealed the kitchen down below you here. Oh, it's servant stairs, of course. Got it. Got it, and, got it, got it. Yeah. The door to the room next to you, you would imagine, is this one here. Did you want to look in either of these doors? Yes, Jaswaldo. Um, yes, yes, I do. Yes. Okay. So well, I will listen at I will listen at these doors. I'm I'm basically checking to make sure that there is nobody like no innocence. Okay. You hear nothing beyond here. And go or go ahead and make the perception check. Okay. Sorry. Nineteen. You hear nothing, but you hear almost like a faint whisper behind this door. Does it sound like uh, like a? Because <laughs> it wouldn't be like a fan. But does it sound like like somebody chanting? Does it sound like? It's hard to say. It's just kind of like I whispering. You can't. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Go to the far near him. That kind of thing. I'm not going to open the door with the whispering behind it. It sounds, yeah, it's very faint, almost inhuman. And behind here is, uh, yeah, go ahead. And... Perception? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oop. Three. You hear nothing. All right. Time to light the fire. I will go back down these steps. And I will go into the kitchen. Okay. Is there anything around here that could be used as caltrops? Make a perception check. Eleven. There are definitely knives on the table. Some on like a little knife block. Caltrops. Uh. Probably not enough to make anything like that. How about oil or lard? Um, oil. There's definitely a bottle of oil on the, the kind preparation that table. Um, cooking oil is not typically flammable. So I will say from that role, no, you don't find any flammable oil. What about lard? Uh, lard. Um, searching enough, you searching around a bit. If you rummaged around, you think you could find some lard? Okay, a I'm bit. going to find some lard. Okay, make another stealth check. God, I love this time a straight roll since you're rummaging around. I love. Love, love invisibility. They have rolled a 22. Very good. You find a jar of lard. Okay. I will very quietly wait for the cook to have her back turned and open this door. Okay. Pop in there. Preparation room. And then pop up here. Okay. And I will sneak down here and I will smear lard all over these stairs. Got it. As much as I can. As stickly as I can. Okay. I will grab a torch. And I will light as many of the bales as I can until they're good and burning. And I will light the stairs and I will walk out of the room. Out of the okay. house. You will and soon run my ass off. Here. 
a bl blood curdling scream followed by multiple shouts um a cacophony of screams and shouts really coming from within the home soon enough the party sees a few figures exit one being the burgomaster one being eight women dressed in finer clothing but what seems to be peasants clothing so if you had almost nothing but were to dress in your sunday best a dress a blue dress maybe a few holes but you seem to have covered one of the holes with some lace and you know the hem gave out so you stitched a different color around the bottom to maintain the dress and a ratty hat or a little bonnet. They seem to have been dressed the best way they know how. And with what little they have, begin to run out screaming, followed uh, shortly by the burgomaster's wife in a wealthy, stately dress who runs over to the burgomaster, a fat man with a rapier at his side. He didn't um, slip going down these stairs. Um, he, sorry, um, I, the way I had him placed did not account for it. So you hear um, a um, roll quick. <laughs> you hear a thump, 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 thump. Uh, uh, he's sick. Uh, help me. And you will hear a much larger coming down the stairs. I wonder how he'll feel if his nose gets burned. And then the Burgomaster will run outside. You will see a servant run out. You will hear another servant crying out and running out. And you'll hear, and then you will see this figure emerged from the house, rubbing his back a bit, but saying, Guys, to me, help me with this. Bring water. And um, you hear one run, you see one run run off, and you, pretty soon you hear a ding, 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 ringing a bell that sounds like an alarm. I go find my party. Happy day of burning sun. As you're leaving, you do see a cat just sitting in the middle of the road, just looking at the house, kind of waiting. As cats do. Yeah. <laughs> and you, as, you're, as you are going past him, just Waldo, you see um, the Burgomaster's wife point up. But what about our son up there? What about uh -oh. him? He might be trapped. And he says, Oh, don't worry about him. He's gonna... Ah, he's better off that way anyway. How can you say that, Vargas? Um, and kind of slaps him on the chest. And, uh, oh, dear. It's about all Is you that you, sorry? Going past. Uh, you say that to the cat? Yes. The cat sort of looks around and then stands up and just sort of waits. Well, so that's a distraction, if I ever saw one. What do you think we should do now? Th I, there might be someone still in there. As people run away, they're still um, outside. The cat looks at the, the mansion and just turns around and starts trotting away. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, go get the others. All right. Uh, wherever the others are, I'll run off and... I tell you, I go over here and I mm, I look for something alive that I can stick with something. What? what? I'm trying to break the spell. Oh. Oh, you can attack the wall. Okay, I attack the wall. <laughs> yeah, you become invisible. The wall grunts with pain. So now you know, right, Elimus? I would know, yeah. I come right. Mm -hmm. I, I see the smoke. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, grab a bucket or grab a sheet and come in with me. All right, all right, a bucket or a sheet. And he runs uh, and he points you in the direction of the 
inside. There seems to be a fire blazing, and there is a couple. There are a couple guards within. Seem to be um, fanning at the the blaze. Is it look like something that could be put out? Eventually, yes, but you have done enough for it's going to be a bit more difficult. All right. Well, I will do what I can to aid the aid the guards in putting out the fire, and I will make sure that. The Burgomaster and Isak are see that I'm very visible doing it. Okay. What work I are work the rest my of ass off. I work my ass off to save this house. All right. Um and once I get back to the group, I turn back into a lizard. He lit the house on fire. I I don't know what's going on. Where did he go? He is at the house still. We should go check on him. Um, we'll head up. Yeah, we wouldn't be far anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can all drag yourselves on out here. Alright. You will notice that he is flanked by... I come running up. My friends! My friends! This Another house is on fire! We must do what we can to save it! Oh, uh, of course. Yes, we Oops. are... That's I was not what I meant to pull out there. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh... His son. There's I didn't even see it. I say, oh dear, what happened? I pulled a I have no uh, idea. I just arrived. The... Oh. I just oh. arrived here. The, the well, house is um, on fire. We uh, must do what we can. Sure, uh, we'll head inside immediately. Uh, we'll try to preserve as much of your house, sir, and we'll run in and use our vast experience at putting out house fires. I have shape water. That's that's what I've got. Oh, and there's lots of rain. Sure. So I can uh, move water a little bit, yeah. do, kind of. Got it. I'll, I'll lean over to Sarah and say, "Do it slowly. Like, don't don't put it all out at once." <laughs> um, okay. I take her direction. Got it. Is it still yeah. raining? It is raining, yes. How 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 hard is it's it raining? It's pouring rain. <laughs> okay, so that should abate the flames somewhat, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a flames three-story mansion ish or uh, yeah. a tall two-story uh -huh. mansion. So uh -huh. So um, the and... indoor flames are our concern. Are the yeah. flames only on yeah. the downstairs? For now. For now, it seems to be this hallway is sort of caught on fire here. Okay. Um while we're doing this, um, actually, you, yeah, sorry, sorry. What did you, say? you will hear the Burgomaster point and say, um, <clears throat> you say, that my house is aflame, but the flames of hope are stronger. All will be well. And his wife goes, oh, the flames of hope. <laughs> oh, yes, dear, yes, all will be well. <laughs> is there anyone else in the house? Like you ask the burgomaster, yeah. Like anyone we need to get out. Um. He, uh, mm, my my uh, son may be in the attic. I don't really know where he is. Just put out the fire, and all will be well. All will be well. Um. And Let's go check on that son of yours. Yeah. I um is. I'll. I don't know what I'm doing. So you hear co coughing, choking as this yeah. as this large man is directing these three guards to help okay. put out the fire. It's mostly out now. Just Waldo has come has done a yeah. valiant effort. I go upstairs and I begin to search every room. I I would like to look for the sun. Okay. So you guys come up. Um, you can just, you know, come around here. You know kind of what yeah. this looks like is just Waldo tells you. Sorry, did you come in as a lizard man? I did, yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> because I wanted to cast spells, maybe. <gasps> so when we're up here, I'll ask just Waldo quietly, did you find anything up here? Um, and the poor fellow they were whipping is dead. Um, there's a room with a bunch of creepy dolls. I think this Show room me. over here is the Burgomaster's room. Show me the doll room. All right, I show her the doll room. You see the two dogs also, I, I neglected to mention this, are sitting next to the Burgomaster. Right, so so I, show her the, I show her the doll room. I show her the room that uh, I believe is the Burgomaster's room. I point out 
this room uh, as the thing, and I said, I think this might be Isak's room. And I say, and I heard some strange whispering coming from down here, and over there is the servants' quarters. Okay. Um, Alimus. Um, yes. You're much more observant than I am. Um, oof. God, that's a lot of... That's a lot of dolls. Um, can you look around in here, see if there's dolls. anything pertinent? I will do a search. Um, Maris would like to... God. Open the room across from them. Okay, Mar uh, Elimus. Uh, beyond it, just dolls, endless dolls. It consumes your mind how many of them there are. It's very strange. Should have just left it doing a passive. And uh, <laughs> and Maris, one. you open a door <laughs> and find uh, what looks to be a library. There are floor to ceiling shelves lining every wall of this windowless room. <laughs> And the number of books contained here is nothing short of astounding. A brass oil lamp sits atop a large desk in the center of the room. The chair behind the desk is comfortably padded and has the symbol of a roaring bear stitched into its back cushion. Maris would like to investigate the area. <laughs> sure, you can look around. Okay. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, I did perception, not investigation. I am. I would like to do so as well. I'm not gonna. To what room? I was gonna start with the doll room and then make my way to the library. So. Okay. Be I... wary. You have only a certain amount of actions kind of going on as your. Oh, um, yeah, that's totally there. Fair. Are um, you hear shouts below? There's a lot of commotion happening. Yeah, you know, I'll leave her and go to the room that Jez Waldo indicated that there is whispering coming from. I've lost track of my character. I will be with her. You you are right here, Jezwaldo. You dragged yourself into fog of war. Oh, sorry. Oh. You are lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> to the fog. All right, Just kidding. I... Well, you know, All right, you're, you're up by... Like... Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay, thank you. Do you Did go you, up I, here? I will stay yeah. with Maris. Where's the whispering coming from? Who will... Um, that, that that was the okay. That's um, the room he indicated. I will um, open the door. Okay. Da, 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 da. This room smells of powder and fine perfume. A vanity with a mirror stands against one wall next to a faceless wooden mannequin wearing a white bridal gown. Mounted on another wall is a full-length mirror with a gilded frame. A door, in one corner leads to it's slightly ajar and you can see it leads to a garderobe so there's the vanity and a wedding dress yep in here yep and a extraordinarily finely crafted mirror here all right um i quick investigation check in here um I'll do one as well. I can't roll well to save my life, God. Hey, sorry, I That's used everyone's good rolling. Oh, 13. 13? <laughs> On a natural one. <laughs> um, this is certainly a bridal gown that has been... There is dust on the floor of the room in certain places, but this bridal gown seems immaculately maintained. Also, even with that roll, you can tell that there are a number of jewels and such, and this mirror is very well crafted it is an extraordinary piece um how about um what's in here are you opening the door yes i am okay you open the door to reveal a bedroom okay it seems to be the master bedroom all right the time has faded it somewhat though the furnishings have lost some of their color and splendor a short pull rope hangs from the wooden from a wooden trap door here to the ceiling. Oh, uh attic. Um I'll give that a yank. Okay. I'm gonna look into it the mirror. Pulls down. Okay. <laughs> Not mirrors again. <laughs> okay. What secrets do you hide, Mirror? Um, when that comes up I'll head upstairs. Oh. Oh, uh, Maris, would you like to help me with this Limus door? is the fairest of them all. There is a slight, it looks almost like a slight ripple to it as you're looking. 
something about reality is just slightly distorted. Something about your face. You look at it and you see if there was one thing that the last time you looked at your own reflection and thought, I don't recognize that, here it is slightly magnified. There is something strange about this mirror. Okay. I wait for. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, Liz. Go, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Go for it. I'm sorry. I'm uh, the end. <laughs> A different game. So, Excuse me. For what it is worth, Maris rolled an eight in that room, and I know Jaswaldo is still in there with her. Right. Um, you guys, as you guys are looking through on the investigation, it's so many books, so many subjects. <laughs> culinary things um uh you know a slight a, a history on the um architecture of Velaki manners a you know it's it's like some of them are just really dumb books like you see like um books that you would you've even seen from your home that you would think like oh really like cool like you people, have volumes of yeah some of it is <laughs> extraordinarily mundane but the sheer volume the... of them are is uh is is kind of astounding may i investigate the desk sure they've rolled a natural 20 with a god, 20 how many of them are you gonna get oh my god. Oh. very oh, nice good rolls. been a good night for jesualdo yeah you know he killed someone but other than that <laughs> Um, you find um, a figure of death trap. <laughs> you find a key, and uh, in one of the drawers, you seem you find a book, very old and handwritten. That seems to be uh, penned on a subject of the Sil the Order of the Silver Dragon. Does that mean anything to me? Um, make a history check. It does five. not. Not with a five. Well, I take the key and I hand the book to Maris. And, okay. This looks important. But, uh, yes. I, I read the book once. Oh, yeah. It was and green. That's right. Oh, you read it too. <laughs> Did you enjoy that book, Just Walter? I, you know. Um, it had words. Does this book mean anything to Maris? You uh, can also make a history check. Excellent. Okay. A 15. 15. So you have never heard of this particular order. However, with a 15, you know that, as you think, the Order of the Silver Dragon, like, you kind of have a thought like, well, leave it to a silver dragon to name a knightly order after themselves. That's kind of a silver dragon thing to do. Um, but looking through it, you also notice that the, the deeds and the um, a couple of the references seem to talk about, you see the name Volakovich mentioned. Mm. You see the name Barovich mentioned. And you're like, this is about this place. Mm -hmm. I don't recognize anything about the history. Nothing I've read matches. However, this is something that happened here. What it is will take some more time to discern, but this is very related to this particular land. Okay. Maris is going to relay this information to her friend Jeswaldo, who's apparently read a book but didn't pick up on that when he leafed <laughs> through it, and uh, hold on to it for potential later use for the party. I quickly scan. Are there any books on the shelf that are the same size and color as this book that we're taking? Make a perception check. <laughs> <sighs> I mentioned to Maris what I'm doing. Maybe she can help? Or sure, can yeah, help Maris decides that she thinks that's a good idea and she'll help out. All right. You're so kind, Maris. I know. You, you know, Maris, maybe it would be a better idea if you do this and I help you. Okay, sure. <laughs> so 
that's a uh, perception check. Is that yep. possible? With advantage. Excellent. And <laughs> has just well got okay, the Okay, we've got 8 and 16. Um, so this one is, um, the, it's hand bound. And so it doesn't have any sort of like, uh, binding title on it, on the, the binding of the book. You find a couple others like this, but you realize they're just old and mm -hmm. it's like, uh, no, this is just, we're just looking at books that are falling apart now. And, mm -hmm. um, and you hear shouting coming again from downstairs. All right, okay. Um, what the hell? Take the book. I'll leave the key. Okay. I know. I'll, I'll take one of the books that I thought. Okay, this is this is sort of like it. Maybe um, you know. You're leaving passing. the. You're leaving the key. I can unlock any lock we come across. Um, Maris picks up the key. Puts <laughs> <laughs> it in her bag. Okay. okay. Are there any keys that we can replace? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, I replaced the book with the the one that is the closest in shape. It's like so, like if you look, oh, is the book still there? And you open it up, and you'd see it, but like cursory look only. I see what you were going for. Yeah, yes. I wasn't right. sure. Okay, either, but... sure. <laughs> I was willing oh, to help. So, you like out. a sixteen, a sixteen, we were able to find a similar book that I could. Replace I mean, it yeah, it's it's yeah. sort of a rough tome, like it's not uh, well bound, but you can find something sort of similar. Yes. Okay, so we replaced that book with it. So. All right. Thank now you. that I know what you're trying to do, absolutely you can do that. <laughs> Before, I just have to guess at what you're trying to do. <laughs> I like it, though. It's oh. very clever. While they pull uh, the switcheroo, I'm uh, climbing up the stairs. Or whatever. whatever. Okay. We're about at the door. same time frame now. That was about what you were doing before. Yeah, yeah. Where's Sarif? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still down there, like semi-running interference, and oh, are you? I think, I think... Are you still trying to put out the fire with so them? So I was, I was helping them, but then, like, all of a sudden, my my crew here went upstairs sneakily. So I was like, okay. So basically, what I'm doing is instead I'm trying to subtly control water away from the flames a little bit and like let it last a little longer. <laughs> wow. All right. Just to slow him down. What a, a team. <laughs> Interesting. Go ahead and make a caster level check. Oh god. What do you what what do you what mean? What do you want to roll? That's a D20 plus your wisdom. So Okay. I think I think if I just well, okay. I don't know, I'll just roll. That's a D20 plus six, isn't it? It's wisdom. Uh, plus, plus five, so wisdom plus sixteen. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's just, I'm just kind of taking it the skill at which you are using your cantrips here to um, sort of just thwart the efforts while looking like you're trying to help. Yeah. Um, no one's caught on. You're able to do it, but um, they're getting frustrated around you and they're like looking at you like um, you've obviously been casting spells, so they are kind of yelling at you to try to help. Like you're not doing a good job is what they're saying at you. Okay. <laughs> and it's then um, that he realized he's a lizard. Yeah. Repeatedly licking my eyes. <laughs> Got it. It's really weird. <laughs> they, they seem to have seen strange things before. Or maybe it's so strange that their brains are just not seeing what is really there and interpreting it as something understandable. Who knows? In the, it's a Cthulhu game. Yeah. Okay. So there is an attic up here. Yes. Um, do, 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 do. It's a dusty 20 foot square room with a high pitched ceiling that reaches, um, actually goes up about 20 feet in the middle here. Oh. Um, the wooden rafters are shrouded in cobwebs, it's, except for an old table with a lantern on it. The room appears empty. It's up above you, if you would scroll up. Ah, uh, I see. Table with a lantern. There's and Elimus, you see there? Claire climb up. What's that? There's nothing else up here? There's a door. I'm listening for these moments oh, that we heard. Oh, didn't even see that. Wow. Um, I'll cross over and peer in. 
Sure. And Alimus, were you still listening for the whispers? I'm listening for the whispers, yeah. Make a perception check. 14. There's something strange about this mirror. It sounds like the faintest bit of whispers coming from within it. You're not exactly sure that it's definitely originating from here, though. Um, I look to the desk behind me, pick up the first thing I see that's mundane. Okay. And just toss it towards the mirror. Okay. It clink. What 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 is it? The off the object you put off it. I don't you know. you throw. A hairbrush or like know. a hairbrush. Anything. Yeah. It clink. Just tinks off the glass and falls to the ground. Fuds on the wood floor. Does anything stir? No. Hmm. I haven't got time to cast the tech magic, but I clearly know it's magical or cursed. You take it with you. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> take it down off. I wonder what would happen if you put the mannequin in front of it. Good point, yeah. I'll try putting the mannequin Just in front curious. of it. Just curious. Okay. You put the mannequin in front of it, and you look... You see a mannequin wearing a white dress, and you behind it. Those stupid Jezwaldo thoughts in my head. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I put the mannequin back. Okay. It's the mirror of Eris Ed, Harry. <laughs> I'm just going to study it for a bit. Okay, well, make an arcana check. I can listen to Claire still, as long as I can still hear her. 18. 18? So with that, you detect it's just through your, the sense in your attunement to the weave based on your studies. This is without doubt a magical mirror, though it triggers its purpose, what not remains unknown to you. Hmm. I'm going to start casting to tech magic while I'm as long as I can still hear Claire and the others clambering about. I will say you know that it is magical. Yeah, but I don't know what source. Okay. Um I uh... I don't mean to like assist you, but the uh, sense of the lime. So if you cast identify on it and you were able to get the whole spell off, oh yeah, you yeah, would true. Learn all its properties. I'll do that then. Yeah, sorry, identify. Okay. It, yeah. Cool. All right, Elimus begins casting a spell. Claire has climbed up the ladder. Just Waldo and Maris. What are you doing? All right, Maris. You see those stairs over there? Yes. You go down those stairs. It leads into the kitchen, and there is a back door. I just want you to know that. Thank you. I, you have the, I have the impression that you're not the person who's done this sort of thing before. It's always good to know where the exits and entrances are. And now you know. <laughs> I appreciate that, Jaswaldo. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Uh, there is one door over here that we have not opened. Should we go open it? I think so, yeah. Okay. I open the door. There's follows There's... behind. <laughs> open the door into a handsomely appointed room containing a canopy bed, a low bookshelf, and a full-length mirror in a wooden frame on the wall across the door. Set into the north wall is an arched window of leaded glass. Nothing in here seems unusual. Is this Isak's room, perhaps? So, the dolls were on a bed here? Oh. This looks like a bedroom full of dolls. This like looks he like a normal on the dolls, like bedroom. smog on his. He sleeps on the dogs like smog on his <laughs> on treasure. His pile of gold. Smog. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's a great visual. <laughs> it's just a guy who likes to sleep with his dolls. It's totally normal. Nothing we don't kink weird shame. about that. Yeah. yeah. No. Kink shaming is my kink. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right, that was not as exciting as I was hoping it to be. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think it might be time for us to be going. Um, 
I I would we can still hear people downstairs, can't we? Yeah. No. And you can probably hear a yes, thudding no. above your head of your paladin in heavy armor <laughs> Just in the curious. attic. Clunk, clunk. I check to see if this right. key that I have opens these locks. It does. All right, I go back and I put the key back in the thing. <laughs> I thought okay. I took the key. <laughs> oh, well, I take it from you. <laughs> Classic. With a 23 sleight of hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my oh, gosh. No. Okay. Maris rolls her eyes. Maris, you, um, you, you notice that the key is gone, but someone has tucked a lock of hair behind your ear at the same time. It's... <laughs> 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 It's not creepy at all. Maris hates and loves it. <laughs> Maris is so confused. Wait, 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 wait. There's one more. There's one more door. I mean, come on. We've got the. Um, we've, we've we've almost got the door. Okay, Maris is running down the hall, touching where Jeswalda's hand must have touched her ear. I'm thinking Maris <laughs> might have a little thing for Jeswalda. Oh, good. All right. Fine. Uh oh. She's she's not sure yet. She's keeping it to herself. <laughs> I like it. He's lots of diseases. Because you know what I would say. <laughs> oh, no, lycanthropy is just, you know, it's only lycanthropy <laughs> might have killed all the other diseases. Yeah, she did just, you know, take poison out of him. So I'm just going to have to cure the every morning. She cast remove curse, not penicillin. Just oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, nope, that's fair. Room. Okay. No, no good here. Um, all right. <laughs> so. Oh, boy. Uh, you. Uh, what is what is going on here? Thus. Ah. I. This is. I, I. I kid you not. This is not a, just a joke. I literally got my P's and Q's con confused as I was looking at the house. <laughs> so. <laughs> just like the reference. It, it's it, a cloud. <laughs> it's a clouder room. It is. Uh, no, like Q and P. Look when you're just scrolling through. Something. An okay. iron tub with clawed feet stands here against the back wall. There are neatly folded towels resting atop a table near the door. It's a bathroom. Like right. where you take a bath. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um my this. my my uh my uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Claire. Yes. You open the door here. <laughs> Holy find shit. Find a f and a find a phantom Jiswalo floating. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> and he goes away. Oh, and you find a, wow. a cluttered room. It's full of old forgotten things, many of them draped in white sheets, piled around them are barrels, crates, trunks, and old furnishings covered in cobwebs and cobwebs and dust. You see a clear footpath through the maze. Someone called hoarders. Right? Come back, Claire. Come back. I. <laughs> she's not coming back. You know There's she's no not way. coming back. No way. I resisted with the windmill. I don't have much more. Don't die alone. Do you make, do you make <laughs> your way through I the do. maze? I do. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. you find a door. Um, Someone has carved a large skull into this door. Hanging from the doorknob is a wooden sign that says, All is not well, with an exclamation point. You hear a young man's voice beyond. I'm gonna approach the door and knock. Say, hello? Is anyone in there? Uh, come in. Uh, I will open the door. Okay. It's like all dark lights and, you, you know, he's got... A young man <laughs> with a book in his hand seems to be oh god trying to cast some kind of spell so someone has taken old mismatched furniture and created a study in this dusty lamplit chamber tables are strewn with pieces of parchment on which strange diagrams are drawn and a freestanding bookshelf holds a collection of bones a dusty rug covers the floor in front of a pine box on which lounges a skeletal cat Several more skeletal cats skulk about. Most unnerving of all is the sight of three small children standing with their backs to you in the northeast corner of the room. 
isn't, that, isn't that Blair Witch Project something? Right? Oh my God. <laughs> so they're just standing in the corner, not moving. Yeah, in the center of the room, perched on a stool, is a thin young man with a premature streak of gray hair in his dark hair. He cradles an open, leather-bound book in his arms. Oh, uh, who are uh, who are you? Um, my name is Claire. Um, there is a fire downstairs, and we're clearing people out just to make sure that there isn't any issue. Um, are you uh, the burgomaster's son? Uh, he, yeah, I'm Victor. Oh, okay. It's nice to meet you, Victor. Um, do you, do you want to get out? Um, I mean, it's probably a good idea for us. This to is a fire, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I have a a quicker way out. Oh, okay. Uh, is the secret passage or something? Yeah. Um. Um, I, I have a, a teleportation circle. See? Uh, and he kind of holds up his spell book and shows you a page. It's filled with arcane drawings. Okay. Uh, how about we bring these kids, too? Uh, looking there, you see there are mannequins. Oh. Okay. Oh, those are, um, they, they don't study good, so I put them in the corner. <laughs> uh, they're dunces. I, oh. They don't know anything. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. They're not uh, smart. You're smart though, yeah. I I I do okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Um. Um. Okay. And she was never seen again. <laughs> I know, right? You're very trusting. <laughs> As the skeletal cat stalk by. <laughs> exactly. It's What's um that, 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 that skeletal. That skeletal cat looks surprisingly here is that like I'm Claire. I'm really taken aback. He he drags the rug across, like uh, away, and you see there there are um, arcane runes drawn in a circle. Wow. Say so hello to Strahd. It's gonna, be, it's gonna it's be fine. fine. It's fine. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, let's go. What? Okay. <laughs> Step in. You're coming with me, right? No, no, I have to cast the spell. Oh. Bye. <laughs> okay. Do you want to? Bye, Claire. I mean, but... <laughs> I gotta know. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Okay. Gots um, to know. Are you gonna come after me? Yeah, um, I think I I I really wanna get out of Barovia. Oh. You wanna leave, leave. I think we can get out of here this way. Wait, please wait, try wait, it, wait. please. Wait, wait, you're trying to teleport yourself out of Barovia? Well yeah. So if you put me in the circle and cast teleportation. Where are you going to send me? Mm. I heard we just this need to get place out of the house. That was really great. That everyone is just beautiful and like everything is great. And there's lots of wine. I read about it in a book that the Fasani brought. I'm going to send you to On. Uh, uh, okay. It's a uh, wonderful place. <laughs> Victor, okay, Victor, listen to me. I'm, go I'm gonna take him by the shoulders. Um, I don't know if you understand this, but there is really, really powerful magic that is going to make this spell not work. And the safest thing that we can do right now is to just leave the house in a mundane fashion. But if you want to leave Barovia, if you want to get out, and if you don't like it here, if you don't think that all is well, then leave your parents. Tell them you have stories about but it's places. It's a teleportation other than circle. I can go anywhere. That's what the book says. I drew it right. I look. I'm not. He I, 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 a teleportation circle. <laughs> I don't doubt your abilities whatsoever, but I promise you, there is insanely powerful magics that are going to make it not work. Like you could teleport outside the house, that would work. You could teleport to the village of Barovia, and that would work. But if you tried to teleport outside of Barovia, like the land, 
you it wouldn't work and if that happened i don't know what would go wrong if you would get like weirdly blown up teleportation isn't my thing but i know it won't work please don't do it you won't try it i am more than happy to talk to you more about it and i have an amazing mage friend he is very talented he is very knowledgeable oh, yeah. we know several other arcanists who might be able to answer your questions <clears throat> but not as good as me though right now we should just leave the house and i will maybe, introduce you to all of my friends maybe maybe i could teach him something um you might be and, able to share uh, some stuff go ahead and make a persuasion check okay <laughs> A uh, natural 20. <laughs> Boom. I have a And new that is his friend. response as he kind of shrugs and he's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's maybe, go. maybe, um, maybe we get the cats to go there. Yeah. Should we try it? Sure. Yeah. Let, let's try it. Okay. He's going the circle. And a bunch of skeletal cats kind of plod their way into the circle and he's like you you ready and he yeah. starts incanting and you see a flash of purple light and the cats dissolve into dust and fall to the ground and he goes again <sighs> i didn't draw the symbols right again you know what victor <sighs> i think that like I said, I think you should confer with some other uh, mages. Um, two heads are better than one. Three heads are better than two. You know, the more people talk about it. Three heads? Mages, it's just a turn of phrase. Um, but how about uh, you come talk with my my friends? Okay. Yeah. He comes Great. down with oh, you. Well, I'll lead him out. <sighs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> you were almost eviscerated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Claire. <laughs> Time to roll a new character. <laughs> Forty-six drop lowest. <clears throat> so yep, he I'll comes bring down downstairs. with you. Do I get my spell off? Uh, identify. Mm -hmm. Yes. It sounds like it is just about um, the. Uh, just Waldo and Maris have just about finished investigating everything. The fire has just about gone off. And you know that this is called the spirit mirror. And I can display this for you in a moment. You know there is a rhyme associated with this mirror. That is mirror magic mirror on the wall. Summon forth your shade. Night's dark vengeance heed my call and wield your murderous blade. So that's basically like a summoning mirror. Yeah. Oh hey Limus, what'd you find? <laughs> I found a kid. <laughs> Something very dark and dangerous. Uh, hey, Victor, do you know what this mirror is used for? Mm -hmm. What? For, like, dressing yourself and stuff? Oh, okay. Or is that what you mean? Um. Hey, you've got a spell book. Uh,. Victor, Alimus, Alimus, Victor. I, uh, you may. Do you want to try my teleportation circle? Do not try his teleportation. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost had it right. Um, I Victor, think the other servants just went somewhere else. They're probably in a better place. Maybe if I look at the spell for you. Uh, I think we should take this conversation outside. Um, and I'll, I just come out the hallway and see just Waldo. How big is this mirror? Um, it is 
it's a floor mirror that is supposed to be about the size of a person, so it's oh, almost okay. the size of a doorway. So if I take it and then Giswaldo, ca- not Giswaldo, Alimus cast invisibility on me. <laughs> don't we have a bag of holding? No, we don't. No, we don't. That's the other I, game. I, I'm a campaign. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you put a little tiny scratch on the mirror. It makes it very, very small. It'd probably kill you. Take out the diamond. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what do you think? Do you really want to fight undead? No, absolutely not. I hate undead. Then learn to respect some magic. No, okay, <laughs> so, so it's time to go. I all think. right. Yeah, we're so gonna... I, 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 I misspoke a bit. You you know the, the, the command hmm. phrase. You also know that there is the ghost of an assassin magically bound to the mirror. Oh. And, uh, and, does it obey Actually, the mission. commands of he who summons it? Uh, you know how to summon it, yes. And does it obey the summoner? It's a little unclear. But you would think so. That is the purpose of it. Do it. <laughs> what does this mirror do? <laughs> I'll wait till uh, the kid's out of the room. Yeah, right. I'll I'll escort Victor out and uh, Jeswaldo. Where did the is there another way out of here? Uh, yes, the back door. Okay, um, I'll I'll escort Victor out the back. Um, you should go too, Maris. Yeah, Maris will follow behind. Come on, Victor. We'll go down the front steps and find Sarif. Victor, come on. <laughs> Is he, he follow? following me? All right, no? He follows, yep. <laughs> okay, he's great. Kinda, he's not... No. Yeah. I speak the summon word. Okay. Ooh. You see a shadow appear beside your own as if there's a figure standing next to you in the room. Okay. The shadow becomes misty like steam rising from a lake in the heat of summer. The blackness intensifies, begins to swirl about, and suddenly standing in the mirror in front of you is a cloaked black figure, and you see the glint of a sharp blade. It stares at you, be it from a hood. I have a target for you, assassin. Just wild. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You have to say the whole name, though. You have oh. to do the whole name. Um, I speak the name of the the seven foot tall man. Yeah, the big brute. Say Isak Strazny. Isak Strazny. Okay. All right. Nice and neat. What is your alignment? Neutral. Elimus. True neutral? I think it might be neutral evil, actually. Let's have a look. What is it? <laughs> Description? I'm um, true neutral. True neutral. You see this, the mist begin to swirl again and dissipate into nothing. Then you hear a floorboard creak just behind you. You turn and there's a solid form. There's a very handsome, but darkly handsome, about 30 year old man with very bloodshot eyes standing there, wielding a blade with a few tucked behind into his belts. He looks at you square in the eyes and he simply nods and without a sound walks across the floorboards over to where the privy is in the corner and shutting the door without so much as a sound 
hides behind there. Okay. I'll leave the room. <clears throat> you guys go. And it sounds like everything downstairs has just been finished putting out. <coughs> you know, I do not know how to stop a flame. It is the smoke that is the most dangerous part of a fire, you understand? <laughs> and then you see Isak saying there are the guard the amount of guards in here have about doubled. And you see them finally saying All right, we got this. God well, damn it, you worthless sons of bitches. We'll get you on uh, wallpaper and duty in just a second here. That's what the Burgomaster says. Anyway, outside, report to him. We'll make sure there ain't no embers left. There's a dead body upstairs with a burn mark on its chest. Excuse me. I know it's not, is it? <laughs> How you moved it, so I, I thought it was still in the floor, but it's not. Oh, no, I, I didn't see, actually. You wouldn't see have it. seen it. He, he <laughs> would have. They did move it somewhere. Yeah, no, he, he threw it in the room with the manacles. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I thought it was there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll leave. Okay. Who <sighs> are you? Hey, hey, you all. What were you doing up there? Well, we were looking for the burgomaster's son. He said that there was a son up there that was. Uh... They found me. Yes, yes, yes. he's over there. Yes. Uh, there was we... a fire. It's the smoke that is the most dangerous part. And even though the oh. flames stay down here, the smoke could have carried upstairs and could have been extremely dangerous for anyone upstairs. I think flames hurt a lot too, right? No, he's but sick. the smoke can be just as And he as kind deadly. of goes, <laughs> and you see him again. This devilish arm, red skin and scales and long black nails, and he just he snaps his fingers, and suddenly there's oh, a fireball oh, oh. sitting in his hands. Well, you shouldn't do that. There was just a fire in here. I, that, very dangerous. <laughs> I think it's about time you left. Well, we're happy to be of service. Happy to do our civic duty, right, Sar Sarif? All will be Sarif? well. All will be well. How do you do? Yes, um. goodbye. <laughs> Wait, so where is Victor came down the front stairs then? Yeah, he did. He's in oh, the okay. front entryway, entryway now okay. with the rest okay. of you. I would assume that's kind of, you've all gone down sure. to the front yeah. at sure. this point. Um. And you see this lady sort of rush forward. Oh, you all must come for tea someday, yes? Sure. We'll make such delicious big goods too. Oh, won't you come? We'll, we'll have a do. party. Sure, yeah. I promise. Um, oh, oh, oh. And, and you see the um, Burgo master say, she'll be sure not to burn you with the tea. And she goes, no. <laughs> Yes, all will be well. I won't burn you. No, no, no. <laughs> and she gra not. grabs onto his arm and pats These it. These people look crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I, before leaving, I say, um, uh, Victor, do you ever get out of the house? What? Do you ever leave your house? Not very often, then. I got so much to read. I gotta finish my circle so I can get out of here. This town is terrible. Right. I hate, I hate my parents and I hate this town. Would you I like me to check land. the spell for you? Um, yeah, sure. Show okay. me your spell book. He kind of turns turns the book around. <laughs> is it just drawings? <laughs> You see, this is magic. You see an exquisitely drawn representation of a spell which you do not have the ability to cast. It's mumble jumble for me. And he, he pages through it. You are able to tell that um, there are some notes drawn in the margins that appear to be his. He is in possession of a very nice very sophisticated spell book um i lean in and and whisper to alimus about what happened upstairs with the teleportation circle that what it did to the cats cats 
Don't worry about it. They're gone now. I can get some more. The dogs always bring in their corpses. They leave them on the doorstep. <laughs> There's Get's plenty sorry. more. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, Victor. Um, well, I would love to chat with you a little bit more about your magic and what's going on here in Valaki. Do you think you could slip away a little bit? Do you want to escape with me? You're, um, you're just... You're really nice to me, and you're really pretty, and I'm just kind of strong, and I'm not. He crushing. We could <laughs> teleport. We could we could teleport to on. Um, you know what? That sounds like a fabulous. And go episode. by the sea. Um, He'll take you away from this place. <laughs> you know what, Victor? I would love to chat more about that. I'm long. I'm much. Oh, <laughs> Maris is dying. <laughs> You know what? Um, I would love to talk more about that with you. Um, do you think that oh, yes, you could meet us at the yes. place that we're staying that I need to check my notes to remember the name the of? The Blue Otter. <laughs> I don't think that was it. Um, the Blue Otter Inn. Otter. No, the, the Blue D Water the Inn. the DM just cast Disintegrate on Jez Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> um... Blue Water Inn. Um, yeah, we're staying at the Blue Water Inn. Um, it would be lovely to ch talk to you more about your magic and options for leaving. I can't really, um, I can't really leave the house much. And you see, um, he kind of looks over the shoulder and his mother is kind of looking at him, talking to you guys. And says, but, um, Maybe uh, if you throw a rock at my window at night, I'll be up in the study and we can maybe um, all like breathe on the window and write a message to you and we can talk that way. But I'll be up in the attic probably. We could talk that way. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> we could we could try that. Um, okay. But um, listen, I, I think we need to go soon. But if you don't like it here, if you don't like it here, I'm willing to help you. To try With my to teleportation it. circle? We're going to talk about lots of options, okay? We're going to talk oh. about lots of options. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't teleport yourself yet, okay? And you hear, Victor! Victor! Come over here at once! Do it. Gotta go. Okay. Can I, can Bye. I, can I borrow your spell book? You kind of holds it close to his chest and slowly backs away. Claire, maybe you should ask if you can borrow the spell book. <laughs> what a romantic. The one That'll the say yes. <laughs> I rolled it just to see. What did you roll? I was going to ask as well, though. Oh, it's like, I was, wow. uh, yeah, there's no, there was no way. There's no way. I don't think it, oh, even, no, even yeah. if I wanted to, it's not possible with these like holding How, how old does I did he roll seem? Just to see. Um, it's tough to say the way that he's um, he's a little bit frail, and he seems anywhere between 16 and 25. Wow. Seriously? That's a wide range. I oh. thought he was, like, but 13 years old. <laughs> no, he... Yeah, he's... It's a little hard to tell with him. He is definitely... You uh, thought that picture was 13 years old? But... <laughs> I just noticed that he looked slight. Oh, my God. Oh, Wait, he looks really gone. Hold on. I'm not on the right page. Did you bring him up bigger? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. He's my got god, some he's... like weird I mean, mutton he's so chops. so cute, Claire. <laughs> like, good for you, girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know that's not my type. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. And the Volakovich family retreats back into their home. Linus, sorry about the spell book, but uh, this might be interesting. And I hand him the book of these. Wait, no, you don't have. Who has it? Maris has it. it. I do. I do have it. Yes. Let, Just how about we, didn't take we it because it wasn't Step away green. from the house yeah. a little bit. Oh yes. Okay. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, know oh, I want that spell book. <laughs> you want the spell book? 
Yes. Teleportation. Uh, well, now that we know where it is, it shouldn't be too hard to get. But hey, how about that went really well, everyone? That was one of the strangest things we've done so Although far. We we've didn't done a lot of weird really shit. We really accomplish anything, did we? Yeah. I mean, Claire found love. So, I mean, you can say we didn't accomplish anything, but <laughs> I felt love in this room. <laughs> it was very one sided. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, weren't we going to. We were going to. Were we going to kill Isaac? That became really unclear. Our position's a little bit of a weird one, as far as I can tell, because killing Isak is what Fiona Vachter wants us to do. And in no other context other than what we know about Isak as an individual, I think that he's a threat to Irena's safety that no, needs no, to be He removed. needs to go. He is yeah. bad news. But I'm concerned about what that means in the context of the whole Velakovic versus Vachter situation. Oh, well. Are we talking outside still? Yeah, I I, I, I've, I've pushed us away. on away. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, most people are crazy. I don't think that Vachter is crazy. I don't think that we should stay here. And I don't no, think that Elena we, should stay here. We but should not leave Irena here. Um, it's hard to say. I can't imagine things being much worse. He is pretty fucked up. The Lakovich, that is. Um, and it sounds like the whole town is sort of being abused by his obsessions. Well, I mean, without that seven foot tall I don't know, giant, I don't think he will be able to oppress the town as much. That's true. Isak would definitely, the loss of Isak would, would definitely take him down a peg or two. So we should definitely do that. I mean, sure. I'm not really... Maybe uh, fate will just take care of him. Who knows? You struck me as a person with very strong morals and decision-making abilities. Is this not the case? It's not that I don't want him dead. It's that I don't know what Vachter wants. And I don't know what she's going to do if Isak goes. Oh, something terrible, I'm sure. <laughs> I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right. You can take this son of a bitch out. As I said, and, and maybe fate will take aside, care of him. Jokes aside, maybe. Mm. Jokes aside, Maris, I am worried about that kid. You should... Upstairs, I, you didn't see it. It was weird as <laughs> Sorry, Liz, you made me laugh with just your expression. There, though. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last okay. time you ever saw me go for a guy? Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I think we should oh. just head on down the road. So nice. You did say something about kissing you, in the rain. You keep stroking Sarif. Who knows? Oh, I know, right? <laughs> a wink. <laughs> so you guys head wink. out. I assume we're... I know. give you a little... Departing the Burgomaster's Mansion. People yeah. are entering their houses. You see, again, another cleanup is taking place after the Festival of the Blazing Sun. There's a crew of people taking apart the scaffolding. Many people cleaning up the fronts of their houses. Many just seeming... There are many fires blazing, despite the fact that it is the middle of the day. Probably all the extra kindling that everyone spent the last week gathering. Another day in Velaki, as you walk through the rain towards your next objective. I on the bloody the pyre. <laughs> and that is a good place to leave off. Yay. An interesting clandestine adventure. Um, <laughs> I, so again, weird. I love how, how unexpected everything is that this group does. It's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> no, but it's it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's entertaining, and I am having such a blast. So um I hope How would all it of usually you... been done? Would it would it been done with a combat? There's 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 stats for everything oh, really? in that building. There's you know what is even that? Claire's boyfriend? <laughs> The ultimate plot twist. I Claire thought that was him. the. Uh, I thought that was the person that we that we're gonna have to kill. 
Yeah, me too. He's eviscerating cats. Yeah. No, that's oh, Isaac. Isaac the, the was oh, a he's just raging. Uh, uh, uh. No, you guys are choosing cats. really interesting people to make friends with, you know, this whole time. Um, and it doesn't always have to be combat. You guys are really intent on not fighting things. So <laughs> it tends to. <laughs> and unless they're things. windmills. You, unless yeah. they're windmills. <laughs> Take that windmill the damn windmill. <laughs> <laughs> the the mentality of this party is we shouldn't murder this guy in the street. We should just summon a really mysterious ghost assassin out of a mirror to kill him and just like hope do that not, works. Because do not, do not lump us all together. With yeah, works. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a party decision. Uh, Maris is gonna eat popcorn and watch the assassin just like hey, go to town. You guys, sorry, you might. Proves. Yeah. You might not share the same uh, morals, but you share the same consequences. So, <laughs> on How that fun note, is that? <laughs> on that note, um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, we will be back on Monday night for Trapped at Home as we descend further into Avernus. Mm -hmm. Things really heating up in that game. That's been really fun. Um, we've got Aerith on Sunday. Hope you will... What's that? Aerith on Thanks. Sunday as well. Yeah, uh, Aerith on Sunday. Um, some really yeah. cool world building there. Some original world stuff, which is um, great creation by the DM there. So that's a lot of fun, too. And we will be back a week from today. Hope you all have enjoyed. Hope you have a great weekend. And we will see you next time. Cheers, guys. Uh, see you later. <laughs>